share it here just later on if you want to watch. Or yeah. something like that. Put this but uh, so yeah, we're right here, and pretty much they can see us. You know, the camera set up right here. And uh, so this comes in at a 15. Minute this is it's on YouTube, so like right here, actually, because I'm going to share it on my social media. I'll show you. All right. So we'll, uh, they'll end playing at 11, but we'll be on air until 11.15. Yep. So, uh, see, I'll just hit share, put it on my Facebook feed, and I'll, I'll just put live tonight. I saw a cookie out there. I haven't eaten anything. Before. Help I yourself. Grab grab Whatever you see. Yeah, there's some cupcakes, too, out there, too. Uh, grab a couple of those. And um, you're from Boston. Is that where you're originally from? I've been in Boston for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Born and raised in New York State. I've been in Massachusetts since 79. Lived in Pittsburgh. How long have you been doing uh, writing about poker? Since That's good timing then, because then after that... Well, except the book was on seven cards spread. Ah, right. And seven cards spread was obliterated when I wrote it. Yes, yeah. that is true. On that. My timing has never been great. My last book <laughs> came out the month that COVID hit and all the poker rooms were closed down. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, 2020? Yeah. January 2020. That was my... My publisher was not very happy about that. And is this a full-time gig for you? Poker, who I just told you about, um, and, and I would say it's a good acquaintance. Like I, I, I'm a big fan of his. I met him. We still like message each other sometimes on Instagram. Cool thing he did, he actually just took a trip to Antarctica, and he took it off his bucket list. They had a block of ice, and they played literally and they there. played poker in Antarctica on a block of ice. Uh, yeah. Who did he play with? Uh, whoever is who was with him on his vacation, they had a group of people with them, and they played some poker on a block of ice up there. Whoa! So I was like, man, I don't know how many poker players can say they uh, played Play in Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, bucket list check off. I even told him, I go, that's max value. I'm like, there you so go. Has he buddy. played on every continent now? I don't, I, I don't know that yet. I actually want to ask him, like, what's now that you got that one taken care of, what's left, you know? But he's blowing up. He's doing a great job. He's, he's a you know, one of the younger poker players, but he's a good event. When we met him, he's very um, personable and also just genuine. And Where he, is he and based he, out of? He just moved. He was based in, I think, out of like around Columbus, but he is now in the Texas. I think like Dallas or uh, Austin area. That's I believe where it's I Dallas. Know if I was so a pro poker player. Yeah. So he's uh yeah he loves it there. So. And by the way, if you're if you are hungry and want a meal, meal. 
walking distance, 10 yards away, is that Marco's Pizza. Oh, I saw Yeah, I was in and there. And it's not bad in there. I was good, in there. Good, I think I'm going to have a Mexican dinner up at uh, the Fiesta, I was told, was the good place. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Yep, the, I like their very good tacos. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the best motel, is the name of it. Okay. Okay. Is it the best? The room is, I mean, it's not a chain. Mm-hmm. So it has some local character, but it's very clean, ample size room, uh, very nice owners that I met. So maybe they are the best in the area. Maybe. Yeah. They were certainly one of the cheapest. Yeah, there you go. Well, 65 bucks a night. Yeah, that's the max value. Which is cheap. So are you going to do an interview, or are you just asking me questions now, or what's your... Well, I want to... We'll, we'll just have fun with it. Just get on here, talk some poker, Great. hang out. Yeah, I'll get in, you know, five, ten minutes. We'll, you get, you on, we'll, we'll get you on here for five, ten minutes. So and just have some fun with it. you'll see how, we'll, you know, you call the hands with this kind of thing. Yeah. And then when there's a, when it's like, when actually shuffling. Actually, where do you want um, me? Sorry. If you want, because you're not going to be long, just stand again. Watch that corridor right there. Just walk over that corridor. Yeah, walk, stand right here, because I'm only going to call one hand, and I'm going to let you get in here. But And then if you want to hang out with your after that, though, feel free to Whatever go. suits you. Right there. No, I'm just saying, if you want to hang out back here, you don't mind. And uh, make sure the microphone is is close. Oh yeah. Okay. We also watch the action. Yeah, good idea. We watch the action, and we can see all the live chat. And we oh, cool. We Looks like we're going to be getting started in just a minute. Thanks for tuning in. It is Tuesday night. It's our five five ten. It's the big one. It is the big the one. The big game of the week, Vic. Yeah. Uh, everyone, you already know, the ultimate victory cigar of poker, Vic G in the house. Uh, next to me, I'm Dominic. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And we have some familiar faces from a long time ago, especially I did see the bear come back. Yes. And getting in there. We got Rob in here today, Buddha, uh, what were some other ones that you were talking about earlier? The lineup stacked, though. I the lineup is stacked, and I tell you, the bigger this game gets, and it continues to get bigger every week, um, yeah. it gets big with our audience, but it also gets big with the players. We do have a full table here tonight as soon as everybody get, arrives, uh, but there are people already on the list waiting to see if anybody uh, gets knocked out. They want to jump in. This, is, of course, is a five-hour live stream. It's our 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em cash game. It's a $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in and then uh, a match the stack. So uh, a couple weeks ago, we saw $37,000, $38,000 on the table, close to 30000 last week. Yeah. Uh, and the action is just uh, fantastic. And so thus, we get this great crowd. 
We also have a very special guest with us tonight, um, and we're going to be bringing him in him uh, to do some uh, commentating with us as well and get to know uh, Ashley Adams from uh, Boston. Yes. And many uh, avid poker players probably know uh, Ashley not only from books that he's written, but blogs that he does. He travels all over, and we'll get more into that when we get uh, Ashley uh, behind in the booth with us here tonight. And it is uh, Tuesday night. Um, we've also right on the edge of our big $100,000 prize pool guarantee that begins on uh, this Thursday. There are day ones, two of them each, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, culminating in Sunday for the day two. Yep. And the day two, just fantastic format with the $500 bounties. You uh, knock someone out, you get 500 bucks 500 every bucks. single time. 500 that's bucks. not even including the, the payout structure yeah. that we're going to have. If you get hot early, you could easily win $2,500 in the first couple hours. And as poker players, we've always had that dream. And we've also had that bad story sometimes. Man, I start, I started out hot as can be during the first part of the day. I wish it would have transferred when the blinds got big. Yeah. Well, guess what? In this tournament, you're going to get some reward for that. Yeah. You're, you're going to be able to win $500 every single time you knock out someone going in the day two. By the way, we will be live here on YouTube, live at the reserve for our 100K guarantee. I expect us to smash that guarantee, go way over it. And by the way, our first wow, hand of look the night at this. here. First yeah, hand. Pocket Notice. aces, eights, yeah. and then queen jack flops an open ender on a king 6-10 board, couple of clubs, and Buddha getting right after it. Betting, not slow playing them. The bear picking a better time. And Garrett, yeah, this is what we call an action flop, my friend. Boy, here comes the turn. And there's the nine, the straight hits. Garrett with the aces cracker on the very first hand. Seven sixty five in the middle. Cool. And he is just going to smooth call this. And the alarms must be going off in Buddha's mind. There's a paired board now. Well, I'm pretty sure Garrett didn't like seeing the uh, board pairing there. That might have been while he was why he slowed down. Also, he's trying to get uh, Buddha to, to bet into him. Combination of those two things. First hand, you gotta, you gotta just in case he has ace king, throw a little feeler on that river. First hand, right? Get exactly. You can't run that bad, turn in the straight, and then get in a boat. No, it's meant to be. That's your night. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna let Ashley come in here for just a moment. It was a pleasure meeting him earlier today. Give him an opportunity, uh, guys, who are on the message board, so you guys can get to know him. He's like, like Vic said, he's written a lot about the game of poker. Seems to have in my time getting to know him in the last half an hour seems to have a true passion for the game which is something i respect so ashley the floor is yours with vic and i'll be back in a few and uh good luck calling the action too but by the way buddha raising up the 50 with ace king offsuit so the heater is continuing for buddha pocket aces on the first hand and why not just take a slight down let's get another premiere ace king here we go thanks for the headset definitely a passion for the game good well, we're going to call this hand real quick with uh, and right out of the gate. Buddha hits the ace right on the flop. Going to bet. Nemo really not hitting any of this. And so he lets it go pretty quickly. We've got uh, our favorite southpaw, Ashley, in the box. That's Jonathan. And we uh, switch dealers every half hour. This game includes a uh, bomb pot at the top of every hour. Um, do they which do a single board uh, PLO they, bomb pot? Or they do. Uh, or when there's nine-handed, they do uh, uh, double board bomb pot. Yeah. And I we've see. got – we're waiting on uh, – well, we're not waiting. We're The game's going. But uh, some uh, familiar names to our audience here. Sako is coming in, as is Rudy. And then, um, as usual, OG John. And here we go with hand number three, Big John Stud in the in position, picking up Ace Jack. We just saw him lay down uh, Ace Ten there to Buddha after that fifty dollar bet, but out of position. And here comes Garrett. Garrett's in there for the action. Well, not shy. Not with shy. Five three off. Right. And so here we go. Heads up. Couple of diamonds couple of tens 
And they're going to go check, check, and here comes the turn. No help. No help there for Garrett. Yep. Turn three, that in 400. Garrett going to take a stab at this, and he might just be able to get Big John off of this hand. The check mark, as you can see, at Big John Stud. What you say, they know each other from playing a lot. Is they, that right? Exactly. They uh, push that mic up a little closer. But yes. Oh, and he's going to make the call. And um, good call there from Big John Stud. Yeah, uh, wow. Garrett is Garrett is uh, pretty much a regular for us on our live stream, our cash game live streams. He's also a pretty good uh, tournament player as well. He'll tell you that he's not, uh, but he is. Now and it Ashley seems to be six-handed. Is that by intent? Or no, that we're going to be nine-handed tonight. We've got uh, three people that are um, traveling late. They'll gotcha. be here soon. Uh, uh, seat nine is always. Uh, who we call OG John, and OG John uh, can never really get out of work right at 6 o'clock, so he's typically late. I think uh, the other two players coming down from Michigan, uh, Sacco and um, Rudy, they might even be riding together. And uh, we got confirmation from the chosen one in the booth, Tyler, that they just showed up. And now the ace jack is uh, with Rob. And you are reading that right, uh, Ashley. That's uh, effing, Rob. <laughs> More, there's a big story to that. So we're heads up. A free card on the turn. And this is going to go all the way to showdown. I don't know if Buddha wants to take a stab at this, but Rob's going to take down a hand here. I'll tell you something. Uh, I was in Detroit the last three days. And everybody up there was talking about this place coming down to the reserves. I had already known about your place, but a little closer. Quite remarkable. Yes, there you go. So let's talk about that, Ashley. You uh, you live in Boston. Um, you are retired, um, and uh, from a, what you might consider a regular job, you've That's written right. two books, three books. I've written three books three on books. poker. One book on my uh, my professional life as a union organizer. Okay. Uh, but my passion has always been poker, and I travel a lot. You mentioned that you've played poker in every state of the union. That's correct. As well as in 28 countries. You're 100 percent right. Yeah. And what is the game that you prefer to play when you're traveling? Well, there's really no choice now. You play Hold'em. I mean, occasionally yep. you can play uh, Omaha. My favorite game, though, is Seven Card Stud, which okay. was my first game. Uh huh. But you don't find that except uh, the East Coast of the U.S. and an occasional game at, uh, in Las Vegas or California. Sure. But it, no limit Hold'em all the time. I mean, that's the game that people play. And at play. what level do you like to play? Uh, what I like to play and what I end up playing may be different, but <laughs> I'm I'm generally a one three two five player. Occasionally, I'll dabble into a five ten game if okay. it doesn't seem to be populated by incredibly aggressive players. Uh, I'm a one three two five. That's my comfort zone. And you're you're traveling around, and then you're are you writing blogs? Then I write articles. I articles. am what I call a poker whore. Okay. I will write for anybody who will pay me. Uh, I write. I've written for everybody. I've okay. For card player, uh, I used to have a regular column for about eleven years in Poker Player newspaper. Okay. Uh, which was a big formatted magazine. Yes. And now I I write for Poker News for Cards Chat. Uh, poker player lifestyle. Okay. A uh, place called Chippy.com. So if you Google Ashley Adams and poker, okay, you'll get all my content. Uh, if you just Google Ashley Adams, though, you'll get a female porn star. So uh, you have to decide which you prefer. <coughs> uh, good note to our our fans <laughs> out there, Ashley Ac Ashley uh, Adams, poker. Right. And here we got a pretty uh, good hand brewing. This is between oh. the bear. Coming to us from Detroit and our regular jo Big John Stud. Love the nicknames. And there's a uh, two diamonds and a five, and uh, it's this is going to come down to the aggressor. It helps when you do a pre uh, pre flop aggression. Definitely. And do a continuation bet. Now and I this remember the original Big John Stud, the professional wrestler. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, and that's where uh, Dominic is uh, really the uh, the expert, and no help really. 
see if uh, John wants to continue on representing a strong hand. He is reaching for chips. I'm going to guess 250 here. 275. My guesses uh, usually are guesses, <laughs> and then I feel <laughs> I feel uh, you know validated when I'm close. There you go. <laughs> Now, you see these players all the time, so you may know their betting proclivities better than most, right? Uh, yes, I would say so. Uh, typically on uh, on this Tuesday night game, though, we see some pretty big ranges. And um, these players are pretty good at mixing things up. So whether they're raising with a 7-9 offsuit or pocket jacks, uh, might be the same race, and you might not be able to put them on that hand. Um, we talk all the time, and maybe you, uh, in your travels, about whether to show or not to show, and being able to show at the right time. We do have players like Buddha who shows quite often. We've got a player like Big John Studd who almost never shows his hand. Yes, I, right? was, I was thinking that in this game, since it's being live-streamed, you can eventually satisfy your yes. curiosity by watching yeah. the game. I mean, I imagine they're on YouTube for quite a long time, maybe indefinitely. Indefinitely, that's correct. So you can always go back, oh, what did he have? And you can find out. You yeah. don't have to pay him off in order to find out. Right. Um, and and when the good nature ribbing is taking place here on the table, you'll hear that comment. Well, I'm going to see it tonight tape. anyway. Right. I'll see it on a ride home anyway. Here we are, heads up now between Garrett and the bear. I wonder to what extent do people change their game because they know they're being watched. If you'd be more conservative. It doesn't seem like people are more conservative. Maybe they're more aggressive because they know that people are going to watch well, how they're doing. Well, you ask a good question because what we typically see is somebody that's coming um, brand new onto the stream. They're in these, you've, you've seen the room, there's the lights, they know they're on camera, they know the microphone is picking up what they're saying, and sometimes for a first timer here on the live stream, you can see them being a little timid, um, maybe just getting their comfort level. They, they might work through that in the first episode that they're on, but certainly by the time they come back and they've had a chance to see themselves, um, which is also of a great benefit when you're trying to improve your game right. and learn as much about yourself as possible, which I think more that's more often the players are watching it to learn about themselves and not necessarily about the other players. And now this is what I really like when we get four-handed, five-handed going into a flop, and we've got a five, seven, two hearts, and a ten. And the pocket nines, it looks like, is still in the lead here with Big John Stud. Oh, no, the bear, excuse me, picks up two pair, and he's going to bet this out. Not a great board there for the nines. you got to be aggressive with the 7-5 because of the flush possibility, the straight possibility. Can't just flat out, right? Right. I'm surprised with all of the obvious aggression and bluffing that's going on here, that players don't knit up uh, just in order to take advantage of everybody else's aggression, because they'll see in the replay how many uh, people were bluffing, how often they were. Their, their ranges are huge. Yeah. I would think that it would have a tendency to make some players just become super nitty and wait till they have a hand and, and take people's stacks. Okay, so... We do see that in certain uh, nights. Of course, we live stream three nights a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And our Saturday game is what we call the regular Joe Poker Show. That's a one three five hundred dollars buy-in. Uh -huh. And you will see some players um, knit up. And then, But specifically, we started some time ago on Thursday nights doing No Knit Thursday. And so <laughs> it's a 1-3 game, $500 buy-in. It's still affordable for right. you know the lower stakes. Oh, boy, we got a hand brewing here. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And a check from John and the Bear. So far, this run out, unless, <laughs> unless well, uh, John had a, had a 10, then he got counterfeited here. So he cannot be happy with that three of spades on the river. Check. 
And he is going to check it. We're going to go to showdown. Oh. And there's the nines and threes, and certainly the counterfeited Very nice river. took place. And that's a tough, tough pot there for the bear to lose. He's going to get up and uh, walk that one off a little bit. I was going to ask why they call him the bear, but I'm not going to ask. <laughs> but in our No Knit Thursday, we put a couple of things in place um, so that we entice action. Um, we have a last person standing game going on with the, uh, they don't stand, but they get a No Knit chip. And the last person to win a game, win a hand and show the cards. Um, because when you win the hand, you have to show the cards to get rid of your chip. And the last person standing with the chip pays every player five bucks a piece. So you're showing your cards to show that you were not you were, it? That you won, and you won the hand, and you have to show. If somebody folds to you, you still have to show in order to get rid of that no-knit chip. Right? So you've got to win a hand uh, to not be the last person standing. So the last person in that round that actually won a hand, um, then they have to, or if they're the last person standing with their yellow no knit chip, they have to pay each player five bucks. Where that comes into, Ashley, and ladies and gentlemen, I've got Ashley Adams in the booth with me tonight from Boston, a uh, blogger, a writer, an author, a traveler, world traveler of poker. But anyway, what they, um, when you get down to, say, two or three people, now the range is opening up. Now they're going to be put a little want, pressure on. What's the punishment if you are the five, last person standing? You five bucks per man, off. so 40 bucks. Oh, you, ha you have an you actual have financial penalty. Financial penalty. <laughs> yep. Off For being the, the last non-knit, so yes. being the knit of the table. Essentially. Well, and then the other element that we designed with that game, we don't always get, but what if we get a feeder table going? Yes. Like in that table off to the right. Yes. And we do V pips. And at the end of each hour, if you have the right. lowest V pip and you don't win the. <laughs> you could be. You could be. You could have uh, 3X in front of you stack wise from what you started. But if you have the lowest V pip and you don't win the bomb pot at the top of the hour, you get moved off the table, and the next person on the list gets to take your place. So if you are the nittiest guy or woman, <laughs> yes. you get booted from the table. You get booted from and the table. And they use VPIP, and yes. they use the last nit person. standing yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I got it. Very yeah. good. Very, very good. So we do try to make sure, uh, but we would never have to worry about that on Tuesday night, <laughs> regardless <laughs> no, of... No, they're all, they're all wild. I, yeah, I can tell you... Uh, you know, certain players are will, will come in here and they will definitely be the VPIP leader of tonight. Um, Sako, who's coming in, uh, he's one of those players that will probably have a very high uh, VPIP. Uh, the Bear will probably have a high VPIP. Um, Rob, on the other hand, in seat seven, typically as a low VPIP. Uh -huh. And when I say low, they're still within the 18, 22% range. Oh, that's not that low. Which is not that low. But when I <laughs> Mine say, is like seven. <laughs> <laughs> but when I say high, we're talking about in the 80s. Yes. <laughs> if you could what? see the look, you could see the look what? that uh, our, our special guest In the guest 80s? Gave me. Yeah. Who has an 80 VPIP here? Well, uh, nobody so far tonight. But last, night, or last week we did have a player, um, <laughs> and he was trying to get on again tonight, uh, our good friend Caleb who might be watching, uh, he wound up at the end of the night with a 91% VPIP. What was his preflop raise percentage? Do you not track that? Uh, we don't track that. We just track the VPIP. But that's a, that would be a good question. <laughs> Very good question. And then we always like to do a shout-out to everybody that's watching with us tonight. Todd Keel got on there first again tonight. Colonel, who plays in our uh, live streams on typically Thursday or Saturday nights and sometimes on Tuesday night. Regulars, Jason, Robert, thanks so much for joining us. Neil Brinkman is a good friend of ours. And uh, Chris Roberg. Anybody from the Boston area? From anybody New uh, from anybody the Boston from area? New England, we've please. got our special guest here. Connecticut? Chris is from Connecticut, I believe. Yep. Marty Ball is from Pittsburgh. She was just here over the weekend uh, playing. And uh, she brought, uh, she's always bearing gifts. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we get driving through Pittsburgh on my way back to Boston tomorrow. We've got we've actually got a regular viewer from New Zealand. 
And apparently we've got a following in Ireland that likes to watch this show after <laughs> it's done because the hours are different. Uh, Jim can go back and look and see where we've got viewership and, and that type of thing. That's fantastic. Well, um, you know, i got to say, having just gotten a tour of your place, I've been to a lot of poker rooms. Yeah. This is up there with the top five rooms I've been to. This place, the lodge, wow. maybe a couple of others, but this is a really, really good room. Well, I, uh, it warms my heart, really. I wish I lived nearer. <laughs> we have some good rooms up in New Hampshire. Um that I really like, but this one I like the hourly charge that you do instead of uh, people paying a, a, a steep rake. rake. Right. I hate the rake. Yeah. Love the hourly charge. The time. Time chips. Uh, right. Of course, no rake and no time is ideal home games, but that's another matter entirely. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into that. Of all the clubs I've seen, though, this is up in the top five in the world. Well, stick around for this hand, and then we'll get Dominic back in here. Yes. We are brewing up a big one here, and now. Now, big hand alert, as we like to say. I like to say, call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. <laughs> this is a big one. Let them know. The bear now, ace four of diamonds, definitely in his range, but maybe not for three, 315. Raised to 315. Yep. Well, that was a three Good. bet, a four bet, actually. And Sako, who we talked about, typically having a very high V-pip, very much an action player. I've got to raid my grandkids' college fund so I can sit in this game and have some fun. <laughs> I, mean, I think I have my priorities wrong. Oh, and is that that's an all-in now. There's a five-bet from Sacco. Maybe, Dom, this is the first five-bet we've seen in quite some time. And now, basically a six-bet all-in from Nemo with the Queens versus Ace-King. Wow. And what you're going to see from Eddie, who is the dealer now, and these players are not being paid ten thousand dollars each just to appear in this game. They're Absolutely their not. Their own bankrolls. Right, and they're going to run it two times. Oh, you can do that. Yep. In this game. Okay. Ooh. I thought we changed that. That we made it so we had to open it. We were all in. Well, on the game, Thursday game, you can do it. It's the game you have to show. It should, we should play that today anyways. It's dumb if we're all... All right. Cool. No, we need to be showing every time. Uh, for the stream, I don't care. 50%. Normally, I don't put my hand over usually anyways until the river, but for the stream, it's not, why not a stream? Queen's in the lead now on this second one. Oh, yeah. and that's going to nail down the second one. So they're going to chop this up. Yeah. They're going to chop this up. Those are good-looking cards. What really Faded Glory, or what do they call those cards? Uh, yes. Faded, faded Spade? Faded, faded Spade. Faded, yeah. spade. Yeah. faded Spade. And these cards have a chip in them. Um, oh, really? Yeah, they have a, a chip, um, and so the cards need to be in the box. There's a, a box right in front of each player, and you got to get them in there so that they can get red. Plus, gotcha. you got to be a little gentle with them can't really pull them up too high and you can't throw them down but hey uh, coming back on mike let me yeah. give you the headset thank you so much in your travels this was a pleasure man thank you again i wish uh, i wish i lived a little closer i'd be here more often we got a spot for ashley anytime he's in town and yes. man, wa watching you know that hand early on the temperature of the room you know, just yeah. went up. Queens versus Ace King. Let's see a five bet pre flop. Buckle up. Get your seatbelt on. Let's go for a ride, eh? So, thanks guys for tuning in. By the way, gotta give a shout out to see the fiancés on here. Judith, thanks for tuning in. Love your support. It looks like Marty Ball, David. Oh, Concrete Dave, Jason. Message boards already on fire tonight, setting the tone and the atmosphere. And look at this, Vic, Big John Stud, twenty five bucks, picking up kings. Is this just one of those nights, Vic? Are we yes. See the premiums. And here we go. Heads up, Rudy and Big John Stud. Oh, oh my! Bottom two pair for Rudy. But I will say this: Big John Stud has the ace out there, so that might save him some money. But he's going to keep him honest right now. And believe it or not, with your kings, you're hoping for an ace. How often do you say that, Vic? Yeah. 
three of diamonds. That gives Kings even more outs now as the flush draw now is in play. Rudy's going to continue. What a lineup we have tonight. And Dom, we just saw where the bear got counterfeited. Oh, there it is. And runner, there it runner, is. Diamond. Big John Stud. With the nuts right now. Well, Rudy did not like that fourth diamond coming on the board. He gives it a check. That's pretty much the worst run out you could ask for. And now Big John Stud's asking himself, how much can I get? Yeah. What is the right bet? Yeah, flop two Perry hoping for not run runner diamond or a four card straight out there. Yeah. One of the two. 1,500 in this pot right now. A bet of 800. And has Big John Stud made this look like an over bet on purpose? I do like that. Does he have his bluffing shoes on? If anybody wants a coffee, there's like an Americano with a bunch of extra shots in it over there. That word for Jim. And he left, so I guess he can go home on speculate if anybody wants it. It's just over there, so. I hear that bear with an extra mocha lotta duper Johnny. super coffee thingy. He I'm put in an order. Drinker. He asked anybody who wanted to add to the order, so. Yeah, but um, if you're a coffee drinker, that, that has to be great. And Big John Stud picks up a nice pot there. So what you missed uh, and what Ashley got to see was a, gr a hand between Bear and John where um, John had pocket nines and... Um, Bear had two pair, but then the runner, the runout was three three. Oh, counterfeit! Counterfeited, and it was a big pot, and you can see Big John Stud already Man. up thirteen hundred, and so we're only tall. what twenty minutes, twenty five minutes into this live stream. We're going five hours here tonight. We are the reserve reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Vic, sign me up for that pay rate. Anywhere I can find that pay rate, what thirteen hundred and twenty minutes. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't care about inflation anymore if I'm making that. Now back to the action here, and we've got a raise with pocket tens from Nemo. Oh, we got a lot of playable hands here. Ace, queen, tens, king, queen, king, ten. Buddha's going to make the call. The bear now, I think he's considering a raise here. Yeah, everyone's sharing right now. Sharing is caring. And there is a raise to 250. Big John Stud, no thanks. Sacco, he's probably making that call for 50, but not the 250. And for the second time tonight, Nemo is going to push all in with a pocket pair. I mean, you get queens, now tens. Play the heater. <laughs> and after that hand between uh, Bear and... Big John Stud, the bear did re up, which you're allowed to do. So hey, he's got a thousand chip in front of him. He started this hand with uh, close to three grand, and he is going to make the call. Wow, here we go. And he says, always once. I'm the same way when I play. But right now, uh, Nemo's in great shape. We're seeing you know, Buddha with King Queen. So tens are looking a little bit stronger right now going into this. 1900 in the middle victory cigar yeah i like this view that eddie gives us you can tell who's all in and who's calling and he gives us the one just like the catcher and big league ball and there's a set of tens wow. right on the flop just needs to avoid oh, oh and we have oh. some outs now a nine or a king and a whiff on the river and nemo nemo his tens hold up up to 1900 now has to be feeling good Rocking the Toledo Rockets hoodie. I know a lot of sports fans in the area are excited about the women's basketball team. Men's had a good regular season. A little bit of a letdown in the... The women are now in the uh, NIT of the women's uh, basketball, and their first game is at home tomorrow night. Oh, did the men's make the NIT? Because they were close to I, the NCAA. I, I'm I, not sure. I won't be surprised. You should probably yeah. Google that maybe. Great sports town here in Toledo. 
say you can, it's just okay, we'll just... I will. Go. I will. Um, no, he's blind. I mean, I'm taking his seat. In the meantime, Anthony Halt joining us. Yeah, I'm taking this Anthony's sitting at Frickers watching us. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Having some wings. Nothing wrong with Frickers. You can always do I like mixing the sauces, personally, to get max value out of my wing, Vic. I don't know what you'd go with strategy, but they, I never had that option in Michigan. Moved to Ohio, and I was like, wait, you're telling me you offer the mix? And they're like, oh, absolutely. I'm like, let's try this out. <laughs> the 3-6 Mafia for Buddha, not good enough. The Bear looks like he's going to put a bet out there right into Garrett in the small blind with Ace Queen of Hearts. Can be aggressive on the button. Don't sense this is going to be a call. Vic, have it, you, it is a three bet. Have you noticed the bigger the game gets and the deeper it gets, even on our Thursdays when every player pretty much has over 1,000 in our, our 1 3 500 max? 7 6 suited seems to be a hand that. When there's a lot more chips on the table, it's played a lot more aggressive pre-flop. There has to be a rhyme or a reason. It's a good cracker hand. You get paid off, but it seems to be the popular one. And here comes a call from Sako with pocket sevens, and that's got to have some influence on the bear in terms of seeing the value of getting into this pot. I don't think it scares him that Sako's coming in because he knows Sako's range can be pretty broad, right? Vic, I don't know about you, but if I lose with Ace Queen one hand, I gotta think the law of gravity will hold. And this time it's my time, especially this time you, they're also suited. A couple of jacks though with a five say otherwise. And Sacco in the lead now with the sevens. And if you have sevens, you gotta love seeing the second jack out there, not just one. Garrett checks it. Sacco checks, now back over to Bear. Good feeler bet here. Figure out where he's at. 160. These two players have logged some hours playing against each other up there in the Michigan area. And there's a call. Oh, boy. House now for Sacco. And really just uh, two outs to tie here. The computer knows what's left. So two outs. They have, those two cards are still in the deck. Maybe like 400 here? Or is he going to just try to make it thin and kind of project a really strong hand? 420. 420. 420. The Snoop Dogg bet. Willie Nelson. And here's the thing, you know, Sacco is has to be thinking, Vic, if you're calling on the flop with sevens or, you know, you're playing, you got to think the third jack is not a bad card. Exactly. We did see him lose a big hand last week to uh, quad sixes, though. Don't be surprised if he either folds or raises all in here, though, with the pot size. Because he's probably not put him on 7-6, but if he's putting him on maybe ace-queen, ace-king, you don't want to let him see a free card and hit it over on the, on the river. Let's go. Yeah, wow. and right, right then and there, understandably so. It's pretty much raise or fold. A smooth call. Would and a $425 profit there for the Bear. Doesn't quite get him uh, what he lost to uh, Big John and against the John's the pocket effect. nines. But uh, it's, a, it's a good way to start building back up again. We've seen tens, queens, kings, yeah. aces. So you're almost thinking the vibe of the table right now is 
hand after hand after hand, you're seeing someone with a big pair. Yeah. And I think that might have even played in a little bit of his decision. Some nights you don't see a lot of pairs for, you know, a half an hour. And then all of a sudden they're just popping up left and right. Love the message board, guys, by the way. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Marty Brown, thank you. Hope you're doing well, and thanks again for the nice care package you brought. Hey, we got a seven queen seven board couple of hearts and Buddha with the king high flush draw. Sako's ace high, still the best made hand. We got a seat change coming up here? I believe so. Buddha usually doesn't piss people off. I, I don't know. Maybe just, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's MGM Bob. <laughs> Shout out to MGM if he's tuning in. I think I saw him at the very beginning before I left uh, before the show started. The comment, MGM, hope you're doing well, sir. On this fine Tuesday night. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we're the reserve. Toledo, Ohio, Tuesday night staple, 5 5 10, no limit hold'em cash game. This is a $1,000 to $2,000 buy in and a match the stack. We were uh, grateful to have Ashley Adams from Boston coming through the area. Went from uh, Boston all through uh, New York and Pennsylvania, Ohio. Went into Canada, played up in uh, Michigan. He is an author. He is a blogger. He is a YouTuber, um, specifically poker. And uh, he came in and sat in the booth with us, uh, with me for a little bit tonight. Please look up Ashley Adams Poker. And you'll see uh, a number of articles as well as his books. Both players hit the flop here. Big John Studd in the lead, hitting his ace. By the way, we got Pennsylvania in the house from Ryan. Thanks for tuning in, Ryan. He, he was just saying he was love hearing where everyone's from. Kings or aces for sure, because I would have re-raised his. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why I kind of put you like. Nice. That is clean. Yeah, that is clean. So I think he had like two bets. Nice bets. Nine and eight was a borderline, and he probably weighed him. Ace, queen of hearts. Perfect. One fifty. And next hand, business as usual on that one. Got fast Eddie in the house, slinging the cards. How you been doing on that that, that thing Rhino's got going overall? Okay, he likes you a couple of yeah. times there, but that new energy thing. Buddha now, first to act, down at a 6-5 offsuit. Right at Kid and I put that on there. I don't do online anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't do online anymore. Sorry, I had to Kid and I put that on there. Going yeah. on the table now. Sako picking up King 10. On the button. Were you talking to him like you thought? Can you no, pass? no, I just thought, well, I thought it was you. Yeah. I think yeah, I heard I somebody say it was, it was Buddha or something. Buddha now with King Queen and he's small. He's like that hand. He's going to come along and see a flop. Nemo priced in. <laughs> Three players going to the flop now. And Nemo flopping queen Nemo high flush draw. Top a, pair for Sako. Oh, okay. Big handler. Uh, 
caught somebody cheating again here recently. Um, there's there's been a bunch of that. There's a, that's I don't know. That's somehow they crack the, the code and they can see what players have. That was well. They got an hour rhythm. More collusion or some shit like that than uh, heads the, up. The, the Going to the turn now. You have to worry about different things on different sites. Yeah. Like, well, Check from like Nemo. Does hit a pair. A few more outs. I just I only play I only play cash in like private clubs where like I know that's not like or at least I know that the people are actually real people that have been added by. Because there's definitely in you know some one bigger unions. There's so many available live games to play. I don't need to play online. Yeah. Play Nemo's going to come along, and we got action, folks, going to this river. 580 in the middle. Nemo hitting a pair along with his diamond draw. And a five. Blank. Sako still with the check mark. Cleveland, oh, cut across. Here, yeah, I go up 71, cut yeah. across the turnpike. Let me see Sacco overbet this. No, I'm, I'm just make it an even 500. To, uh, West play. play it like a bluff. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, though, right? I heard that was pretty good. 350 room. No, I'm pretty. 350 to go. Located. I'm an hour and 45 to Columbus. 210 to here. Hour and Cleveland. If you were playing the Shark Tank in Columbus. Mm -hmm. They got pretty good tournaments. Yeah. So what's like the closest to you that you play? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland? Yeah, the, the Jack. How there. far is that from like you? 55 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. It's really not that bad. Marcus, that is correct, by the way. good thing I don't live like next door to Kissing. They got bad, they got Yeah, I was just in their last tournament. Yeah. 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 A little nice place. Nice. Uh, 44. Yeah. 300 buying. And he lets go. Sako taking on that pot profit in just over 300. Nice hand. If you do anything but win, we're doing the double seat change right now. Haven't seen this in a hot minute. Look at the players playing the game of chess. I love it. Rudy doing a seat change to get behind Sako. Sako not having it. Moving across the table. Even in it out, as they say. Wow. We have not seen the musical chairs game in, uh, on this live stream in a hot minute. This is great to watch. Love seeing it. No, what I'm saying is the, the winner has to pay the other, the other guys some of his money. Well, yes, you're not the you winner. Stuck taxes? Yeah. yeah. Big John Stud, 3 6 oh, Mafia well, yeah, suited. Can, Wasn't feeling it. Yeah, now Rob with Queen 10 offsuit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how yeah, it works. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll rearrange the payouts. Yeah. By the way, Rob wanted to give a shout out to Dave Booth. He says, Thanks for the reminder. So Dave would know what he's talking about. So Dave Booth, Rob wants to give you a shout out. Of everybody's stack and how much you would get paid based on. Blue just coming along with a suited king. You can't do that if you don't know what it is. You know, you, you need the computer to tell you. Yeah, we have a deuce ace four board, and there's a king for Puda. Puda makes a call of 80 now, builds up the pot. And there's the straight for Buddha. His hand definitely improves. Nice hand, Buddha. And this is our 5 5 10 no limit game. Like we said, match the stack. I believe everyone pretty much bought in right around 2K. 
Everybody sees some add-ons. A couple big hands to really open up this live stream. Still got OG John on his way. We should have a full table of 10 tonight. A couple players stuck in traffic. Currently playing eight-handed right now. The bear is going to make it 30. Queen 10 going around the table. Well, it depends on how big the prize pool is and the caliber of the players that remain when you're, when you're negotiating the deal. Yeah, yeah. Like if there's a lot, if you're playing for a lot of money and you feel like you're playing with some people who are maybe on the same playing field as you skill level, you know what I mean, then maybe it is, you know, lock up a little bit more money, play for the difference, but just, you know, every situation is different, right? 130. Now Sako, three bending up to 130 with pocket eights. Like like yeah, that's what I'm saying. It depends a on just the amount of money. Rudy has position, but he's going to let it go. Pick up that dead money, Sako. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, of course, there's some tournaments that are just like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm not making a deal. Yeah, exactly. Buy pay up top or something. Yeah. There is no deal. David Booth on the message board says, I sent him a text to see if he was playing on the live stream tonight. He had forgotten. He signed up. We won't know how thankful he will be until about 11.30. And isn't that the truth, Dave? Remember that day? I, lost, I had lost nut boat to quads three times in 40 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. That was sick. Listen, we're playing the CLO game. We're doing a pro crime game. I lost. Where, where was the button? Not where the button full house. Where the button? Three three three. Three. Pocket three. pair to pocket three. pair. Yeah. Three times in 40 or minutes. No. One of them was them. Yeah. I got stacked for 5,000 every single time. The box is good. So you get the bomb He wasn't even here. Pull it back, Travis. Don't want to mix him up. There you go. Bomb pot time. All players are going to get four cards. We play Omaha. With the amount at the table, we should have double board. Okay, this is where this is where that button was. So is it supposed to start with so the three seat? I'm no, the three seat. Start two. Start to the right. I don't care where it starts. Start to the right of the three seat. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The three seat. The, 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 the bump. I was the button when it when the game started. So I should be the button. Goes on two. Why should it be on two? The button. Whoever's the button. We haven't played a bomb pot. You don't get the button in the bomb pot. Whoever gets the button in the bomb pot goes to the right. Oh, okay, okay. So that's what it is. Yeah. I was just gonna say I was the button. No, I just saw he said three seat. So it started. A little clarity going on with the button. I didn't realize that it moves, that if you start with the button, you don't start with the bomb pop button. Usually we just do it, it starts like in the... And we saw a record-breaking bomb pot just about a week ago, getting over 12,000 in the middle. Yeah, that's rude. I'm just saying, it's possible. And now we got a queen four five board. All hearts, oh, yeah, and on the bottom, deuce, king, three, a couple luck. of diamonds. This has scooping potential. Someone has a wrap. Maybe they can get some damage going. Oh, a set of fives for Big John Stud. Ten high flush for Rudy. Going around the table, not seeing too many big hands, though. Is it right now? 65. 65. Rudy's going to lead out with his flush. Rudy, just try, like, swiping him across like this. Like, we're good. I usually just, like, if I fan him across all the time, like, that, I'll usually get him. 65. No. Nothing really there for the bear. Garrett's got two pair on the bottom with the queen five. And now we're heads up. Six of diamonds and a lady. Check. Our top two pair for Garrett. Big 
Garrett, get in. You so excited? Aggressive, making it 450. And this is a hard call, Vic. You only have a 10 high flush currently right now. And on the other board, literally just a gut shot straight draw. Excellent job for Garrett putting the pressure on. And he's going to stay with him. 1,200 now in the pot. And here comes the river. going to go all in here. This is going to be a tough call for Rudy. If he can get Rudy to lay this down. I'll tell you, if Rudy makes this call. Going to be a big pot here for Garrett. He literally has nothing on one board. Just ace high and a 10 high flush. This is This is a situation. Wow, and he Garrett gets him to lay it down. Very Garrett nice now play. is going to have twenty four hundred dollars in front of him. Yeah, he's going to profit six ninety. Off to a good start. Nice hand, good sir. One hour into our five hour live stream tonight, going until eleven fifteen. This is the Tuesday night staple five five ten no limit hold'em cash game, and shortly you're going to see OG John coming into seat ten. I was just outside. By the way, Alan H. checking in from Tennessee tonight. So he's out of state. All right. Alan, hope all is well. And if you missed it, we had our special guest here tonight, Ashley Adams. Google Ashley Adams Poker. Author, writer, world traveler, passionate about poker, writes... But he says he's a poker whore. He'll write a story for any magazine that'll pick him up. But you will see all the magazines that he's contributed to over the years for the love of the game. And here in a couple of weeks, he'll be releasing an article about us, the reserve. While he was in the booth, he was very uh, generous but sincere, said that he believes this to be one of the top five poker rooms in the country. I appreciate that. He's played in every state. He's played in 28 countries. In the meantime, back to the action. The bear is going to raise this up now with Ace King. Three betting this after Nemo's raise with the Ace Seven of Hearts on the button. And he takes it down pre-flop. Vic, I think this year, and I'm talking just from January, I haven't seen a trend how people have been playing Ace-King differently on the live stream. Tournament play, not so much, I think, especially with the blind levels. It makes you go a little bit more textbook, but in our bigger cash games, we've seen ace-king suited fold for an all in pre-flop. We've seen some players kind of play a little more damage control with it. It seems that the whole general consensus is I'm not going to get married to a hand that's exactly. just ace high. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Don't get me wrong. I think the chip stack has something to play. Like if you're under 700, 800 right now, you might play it like aces. You're not going to wait around for a better hand. But when it gets deeper into the game, or if two players just bought in for, you know, 2,000, it's being handled a little bit more with care. Yeah. Rudy with a uh, pre-flop raise. Takes down the uh, blinds. Now on to the next hand. We got Brian B. saying he's watching from a tiny town in Iowa. Iowa. So Iowa in the house. Brian, thanks for tuning in, brother. 
Thanks for being part of our poker community. And our most excellent security guard, Richard, coming in, making sure we've got the water stocked. Oh, yeah, hydration, important. Richard's a great member of our team. If you're here in the reserve, be sure to say hello. He's going to say hello right back. Great guy. Now, Rob, under the gun, raising to 60 with Jack-10. Rudy coming along. Nemo folding ace-10. And Big John Studd's going to come in with King-10 suited. He's got two hearts, so we're going to go three-handed to this flop. Adam at the helm. Oh, and... Yeah, Big John Stud on the three six five board, Vic flopping two hearts, and sometimes you see it when you're on, you're on. Yeah, and you know, he dominated is pre-flop so far in this first hour. He is on, Dom. Curious to see if he's going to get a little feeler bet here to try to take it down now. Rudy with the standard C bet here, a fifty five. There's 2.45 in the middle. But he's just going to smooth call it. Rob's going to get out of the way. He was the pre-flop aggressor. Now it's up between these two guys and a jack of diamonds on the turn. Rudy still in the lead by virtue of his king-queen. And now he's going to play like he has the jack. This play, we talk about Big John Stud mixing it up, Vic. And he lets it go. Big John Stud mixing it up. And now Baloo is in the house oh. on our chat board. Shout out to Baloo. Always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Want to thank everybody for joining us. <laughs> Brian giving a shout out to Caitlin Clark, too, with the March Madness time. I will say this, Vic. I don't remember a college basketball player with so much fame right now in right. about at least 10 years. Yeah. You, know, you don't see that with college basketball players. They usually go to the NBA or WNBA early. She's played out her career, and she's got the whole country watching her now. It's really something to see. You play nine, there's no burn for the river, and you can't go twice. Buddha, the 7-3 offsuit, hasn't really got too many playable hands so far. Vic, no, huh? he has not. He's come in a couple of times after a raise, but after the three bet, he's been folding. That's okay. Garrett. Also doing well tonight. Going to raise in the small blind. Ace deuce. I see this all the other day. Let me see this, Vic. If you're playing on a five-hour live stream, if there's an hour I'm car dead, I would love it to be the first one. You kind of sit back and see what everyone's playing. Right. You stay out of the danger zone. And now we have a ace-queen deuce board. Garrett hitting top pair. Pretty standard right there. Just under half pot. And Rudy not hitting any of this. Next switch with the straight and the flush draw. So here goes another pot. Garrett's way. Good to see the bear back, one, two, by the way. Oh, yeah. On the live stream. Strong beard game, too. Him and Big John Stud. Then you got Rudy, too. So, a lot, you know, poker, I always say. If you got a strong beard game, you probably hit your flushes at least 3% more often. Something about him. Just my opinion. No facts behind it. <laughs> Baloo's asking, where is the fan favorite OG John? OG John's on his I think he's actually playing already. Baloo, we should be seeing him soon. We are on a 15-minute delay, but he is in the building playing cards. So he should be on this live stream any moment. The power of the OG compels you. Seventy-five to go now from Garrett on the button. Big John Stud gets out of the way. And is it going to be folds around? No takers. The 
Buddha. Maybe it just depends. It's so it's just far, man. Buddha with the shimmy ten at Cedar Vic. Heads up action here, Buddha and Garrett. And three jack, four couple of spades, king high, still in the lead. Continuation bet here after a check from Buddha. Buddha folds. Garrett raking in pot after pot. Off to a really good start here tonight. Quite not quite as good as uh, chip wise as Big John Stud. Just an hour into our live stream, and we will see those chip stacks change. <laughs> it's a given. The action means that you're going to see some roller coaster rides here. Yeah, David, uh, good good point. I know OG's got uh, a big beverage in his hand. <laughs> Tasty, as they say. Rob now in the small blind. Ace queen needs 25 to call. Raising chips coming in. 225 is the new bet. Do you think OG's a Mountain Dew guy? No, I don't think so. I think he's a uh, Pepsi, maybe a Diet Pepsi guy. Hey, look at this right here, Vic. A whole smorgasbord. Of yes. Hands. No one's really in each other's range. Got the high, low, the middle. I like this play from Rob. He hasn't been playing out of character at all so far, and now you just picked up some dead money. When, when Saco beats MGM Bob, he's yeah. happy. Easy win for 100 bucks. <laughs> nice pre-flop aggression. <laughs> Saco is so happy. He's bouncing up and down, uh, laughing, yeah. high-fiving, all this stuff. And Bob is just really Yeah, OG so John's uh, <laughs> current <laughs> preference is uh, the marathon. I don't know if he stops to, pick, to get gas on the way in here, but typically... He stops Corey at the marathon Corey station, Corey gets his big beverage. Here comes a raise under the gun from Sacco. Ace nine of spades. Going to make it 35. Garrett quickly calls with a couple of diamonds. Like I'll run good against him when we're playing five five. He'll run good against me when we're playing ten quarter, ten quarter fifty. And we're going to see uh, open. <laughs> We're going to see uh, heads up action here. I take that back. Buddha comes party. in with a couple of clubs and he hits a king, but Sako hits an ace. Is Sako in the lead, top pair. Garrett wanting a redo. There's a few runner runner outs. That's it. Looking slim. Continuation bet there from Sako, and now Sako takes down a pot. It's weird seeing Sako play without MGM Bob. Usually we get those guys clucking at each other, <laughs> talking across the table. The best part is I think uh, sometimes they carpool together because they live in the same area. That, that must be an interesting uh, card right home. When I was just going to say the same thing. It seems like they're constantly taking money from each other at the table. Here comes a re-straddle or a straddle of 20. Oh, yeah. You're late. Oh, uh, yeah. Real nice of you to join us. And OG in the house. I almost called you and uh, told a you. A raise I now from Big John Stud with Ace Jack, <laughs> making an 80. <laughs> What's up, brother? There's the bear, 9 8. 9 8. Definitely in his range. So Garrett comes along with queen seven of clubs. We've got three players. And Adam brings us this flop. Three, eight, nine. Top two pair for the bear. He's been waiting for this. Hoping someone catches up on the turn. It's paint, but look at that. Could have been an ace, a jack, or a queen. Of course a king. 
Come on, it's not fair for the bear. But he's going to get action with the check. Garrett leading out for 90. You know, Concrete Dave was commenting on the message board now with OG John, what fast food pop did he walk in? We know we get a lot of side action on that. There's a lot of people that do over-unders and give odds. You know, he, he came in with a – it looks like – see, I, I just saw a look of it right there. I don't think that's fast food. He loves his gas station pop too. Before it was Marathon, but he said that they jacked up the price by like 35 cents. So we changed locations. So it's a little bit random now. The man will play five, five, ten, no limit. But if you mess with his soda price, he's not giving you his business. Don't jack up the soda. It's the principle. It is not the principle. The yep. I respect him for that. Seven deuce now for Rudy. Nice position bet. Nemo. Good defense because now Nemo with Ace King is just making the call. And we're going to go three ways here to this flop. In a 10 5 9 board, sometimes when you just slow play Ace King. You're very happy when you see that flop thinking, I'm glad I didn't jack it up too much. I don't have to get married to this hand. This rubbish. Rudy with the seven deuce trying to win it, but the OG flopping mid pair is going nowhere. And now Rudy picks up some outs with the three of diamonds. Change. That's 130 and that's on you. One card to go. 595 in the middle. And there's an eight. No help for Rudy here. No, gee, not afraid. He's going to lead out again for 200 with a pair of nines. All right. The voice temptation doesn't try to make a move. Is it? Yeah. Just curious if you're going to see the bluff card there. By the way, Vic, if uh, we have any new ladies or gentlemen tuning in tonight, we just want to let you know we have a little subscription button. Please hit that. We have a nice poker community growing here. We'd love to come live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for our cash games. Also, when we have our tournaments like this week, we'll be live at the Reserve on YouTube on Sunday for that 100K guarantee. But yeah, hit that subscribe button. There's also a little bell there. Gives you the notifications. And sometimes, especially with our big tournaments, yes. our time frame might be within an hour or yep. so, but nothing exact. There is also a little like button there for every episode. And if you're tuning in, if you don't mind smashing that like button, it helps us immensely uh, picking up new traction in the YouTube algorithms and whatnot. It's pretty much how we're made and how we've grown out here through you guys, the listeners. Helping us out there, so appreciate any support we can get. But yeah, let's get back to the action now, Vic. 
Mike, you ask a good question about what would be a good uh, bluff. Good size bet there to try to bluff uh, OG. Uh, that question in any hand against OG is a good is a good question. That's like hitting the chance card in Monopoly. You never know what's. You what really you're don't know. And you're not gonna find out till you flip it over. Three handed now. Six, Almost four, a thousand seven. in the pot already. Gut shot for OG John, which is pretty dangerous. We've seen him hit more of those than anyone. And he gets a free card. And now a nine would get him there also. That 10 really only helps OG, but still ace high for Buddha in the lead. Ten outs here for OG, and that is not as not one of them. They're going to go check check to showdown, and Buddha's going to take this by virtue of his ace king and a nice pot there for Buddha. That's the run good. That's what we dream of. Yeah, ace high with ace king to the river, and there's 1800 in the pot, and still getting pushed your way. Taking a pot down and then um, having the button move in front of you. Uh, is kind of like waking waking up late in the morning and seeing that there's still some coffee in the pot for you. I mean, it just it just makes you feel good, right? I absolutely think that's a great analogy. Vic. Thank you. <laughs> I am not a coffee drinker, though, so I would have to say for me, even though I know that is a true story for 90% of the people on Earth because it seems like yeah. that's so many people. But I would say if there's a couple pieces of bacon left over. Oh, there you go. I love you wake up when you late wake up past still, the breakfast. Yeah. The bacon did get cleaned out. Yep. Bacon's just fine room temperature. Rudy now putting the pressure on, opening up his range. 5-3 of hearts, raising to 50. Buddha gets the nemesis suited, yeah, and he's coming check. along. Garrett's got a couple of clubs, ace-5, and four-handed. And here comes the flop. And we, wow. Look at that, ace, seven, three, all spades. Garrett hitting top pair, bottom pair for Rudy. But this is a scary flop for everyone on Yes, it really is. Especially four ways. Now the seven comes along. Pairs the board, but Garrett bets out anyway. He wants to see where he stands. Yeah, I think that check on the flop was definitely playing pot control. Also wanted to see if a spade came on the turn. There's a blank. And I think Garrett's going to take this down. By the way, Vic, i got to give a shout to Mom. Mom just on the message I board see saying that. greetings from Texas. Yeah. Glad you had a say, safe flight home. I actually got to... Uh, She's up in Michigan visiting. So I, I saw had, that uh, picture of the three of you. It's very nice. Yeah, Trappers, a uh, nice little uh, bar restaurant in right off 125 in Michigan. It drives through Erie, okay. busy road. And if you go pretty much at the border of Monroe, they have an excellent menu. Their fish is great there. They have alligator bites for an appetizer. I oh, that was interesting. But yeah, cool. a, lot, a lot of new stuff. If you're, you and the wife are looking for a little adventure, Vic, I'd yeah. say you know try it out. Here's a $25 uh, button straddle now from Sacco. The action's on the bear. And he's loving that uh, coffee mix he ordered up. Rob now. now. Hands here. Nice hand here for Rob. However, he's raising right into Rudy with ace queen offsuit. <laughs> Just a smooth call with ace queen. <laughs> she learned her lesson. Yeah, the hard one. Yeah, we didn't learn that one. No. <laughs> they hear about that one for a couple, a couple sessions. <laughs> rubber, rubber duck. <laughs> Not a great hand for a button straddle there for Sacco. <laughs> and Mr. Hand goes in the muck also. He was late play. So 5.30 in the pot already. Three-handed. Quite a range. And we got a eight king four board. Missed everybody, Vic. Yeah. Really did. Rob does not do a continuation bet here. And a check and then a check. 
And back over to OG John, and here comes a free card. Bob did it once. You know, I almost did it the other day when I said, Bob, why don't you show your card? And the jack comes out there for Rob, so he's going to bet 225. Yeah, but he does pick up a gut shot to Broadway. He's going to see one more. He does see one more, and OG John gets out of the way, so we're heads up going to the river. I've only reminded somebody like one time ever, and it was somebody who was like new, pretty unfamiliar yeah. with the game, and I yeah. felt like it and was a Al Rudy wow. gets there. Wow. Yeah, gets <laughs> Hits the gut shot. Rob, same bet right into that. 225. Was there ace right on the flop the whole time, or did that get changed? No, that was there the whole time. And I just missed Rudy having top I did the too. whole time. Yep. I have no clue how that happened, folks. I, I have no that. explanation. Can you get us yeah, Rudy the whole time had the best on. hand. I thought uh, yeah. something did wow. mix up here on the uh, graphics. And I don't think that uh, card reader is correct. Uh, I swear. Yeah, somehow that got... Uh, and. Oh, okay. Okay, so Tyler gave us an explanation. He fi It was corrected. Uh, the eight of clubs got mucked. I'm not losing my mind. No, which, and the explanation is that as it was mucked, it came across the middle of the, the table, across the card reader in the middle, uh, and that's what gave us that misread. Fair enough. But either way. And, Neil, thanks for explaining that to us because I yeah, thought I was losing my so mind much. for a second. <laughs> Kept my sanity. It's like, how did I miss that? Kiwi is in the house, too. Kiwi, great seeing you on here. Hope you're doing well in New Zealand. <laughs> Kiwi, I'm so glad you came on. Uh, I've got a hoodie here to get in the mail to you. And I have no explanation why I went to my email. And the emails that you had sent me before with your address for some reason is wrong. Kiwi, if you can please send me another email with your address. We have an anonymous uh, donor making sure that you get a Nemesis hoodie. I have that ready to get in the mail. You could get around to that right away. I'll make sure tomorrow morning I get to the post office and we get that hoodie off to you. And as we did in, when, as we did when we sent you the hat, if you could please get a picture of yourself with the hat and the hoodie on. After it arrives, and then email that as well. Greatly appreciate it. Can I get greedy about Kiwi? Sure. Could we get a picture of the hat and hoodie and be her profile picture on YouTube so when she's on the message board we could see her rock the swag? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Kiwi, if we if we could get that, I'm just saying. That'd be great. Decked out in reserve gear. Well, I don't want him to leave either. We asked and nobody said anything. So no, but I'm not going to be that guy. Well, it's fine. We don't want you to leave, though, either. So we're not going to yeah, make we you leave the game. We ain't going to play. We don't have to play. Yeah, we're not going to play if you're going to leave. I feel like I'm that guy. No, Look, no, this no, game's got plenty of action. Don't yeah. worry about it, buddy. Yeah, we're good. You're good. No, no, you don't want to play. You don't want to play. No, I mean, we're just having fun. We don't need that. We don't need I don't want that guy says no. No, you're good. Hey, you're good, man. But you are. No, I'm just Sounds like Nemo is racking up. He got a call. It's okay. That's why we asked. And he's unable to stick around. Being very apologetic about it. Appreciate that. These guys aren't worried about it. We can still get a lot of action here, but that does mean we're playing nine-handed. We have a seat open. Oh, oh, I got that. I got that all wrong. Okay, never mind. Nemo was not racking up. He just didn't want to do the uh, no knit chip. So we do not have a seat open. I actually don't blame him for that. I misheard that. <laughs> We don't the need the no nip chip yeah, uh, tonight. The game is already big enough as it is, and then if you lose that, you got to pay what four fifty if the if the table's full four hundred four fifty depending on if it's nine or ten handed. So uh, I, I totally get that. Yeah, especially if you're coming in the game for I think he was coming in the game for a thousand. That's half of the stack that you bought him for. Now he's doubled up. I believe he's up to like around nineteen right now. He went a nice hand earlier on. But yeah, it makes total sense.
Well, they say the lowest V pit's the best player. That's what they say. You know, there's not. It's like. Yeah, I've seen nights when Rob's had the lowest V pit, but then he's been over 50%. Like yeah. He's kind of hard to call. Say because there's not a lot of hands, right? You just get really shitty cards. He might play 21% one night, and then literally he'll be at 55% the other. Right. You can play every hand and just not Well, that's the That's Ace-10 prompts a raise from the bear to 75 and a call from OG John with King-9. Buddha coming along with a suited ace and Sako coming along. So we're four-handed, 320 in the pot, and now Kara at the helm. Jack-6-5, couple of spades. Buddha's going to get the best of this. Yeah. Second pair with an ace kicker. Well, now the seven. Nobody hits. No, gut shot for Sacco. Yeah, and OG John. I think OG John. Oh, I can see it happening. All I'm saying, like, he's leading out because he knows the power of his gut shots. That's right. Two ten. He's ten for the bear. Your money, John. That's a what do you want to do for Nick? No. Oh, John. OG John with the semi bluff there. Experience, folks. When you're the OG, got a good table image, takes it down. Hey, if we can get to 50 likes uh, before we're two hours into this, then we've even got a greater chance of being at 100 likes. So quickly hit that like button, and as Dom mentioned, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We will not be live streaming our cash game this Thursday and this Saturday night. However, there's a good chance that during our $100,000 prize pool guarantee, which begins on Thursday morning, that either Thursday or Saturday night, we could be coming on with a feature table for that tournament. It's a guarantee we will be here on Sunday for a feature table for day two leading up to the final table. And the champion. But what a better way to know when we're coming on if you subscribe and then hit the bell because that gives you notifications. Three handed. And we got a King 10 6 rainbow flop. Top pair for Rudy. Smallest pre flop pot we've seen tonight. OG with a gut shot. Don't count on seeing many of those tonight. Ace yeah. on the turn. Yeah, so if it's on the turn, it's 20. They're going to go check, check here after that ace comes out. Uh, that's a good one. So There's a rag, although the board does pair. So Rudy bets out with his king and a quick fold there from OG John. Rudy says, first pot I've been able to tip the dealer. Yeah. And there is a shot of the main room while you look at the cumulative winnings. And tonight is our Tuesday night blast-off tournament. This blast is the third off. Tuesday now we've had this format. It's a little bit different. Getting good reception about it. Right now I believe we're at three, and just as I was in the room the other minute ago, uh, we were going to a fourth table. You can see they're at level six already. These are 15-minute levels that they're playing. <laughs> three players now going to the flop. Tail of three turkeys. King, four, king, rainbow. The 
bear sensing some weakness does a little continuation feeler bet out there and I think it's probably going to go through unless uh, OG John and here comes OG John that's right bear getting OG'd and now a bet and Austin the masseuse is in the house Turning her uh, attention first to Rudy. You had the deuce six hearts. I would have called one with the deuce six hearts. <laughs> so, Dom, we had our special uh, guest in here tonight, Ashley Adams. He's a writer from Boston. <laughs> yeah. Travels the world and writes for many, many of uh, magazines and newspapers related to poker as well as uh, puts uh, YouTube videos out, instructional YouTube videos out, writes about his travels. He'll be writing an article about us uh, here at the Reserve here, releasing it in a couple of weeks. And um, he had the opportunity before he left to meet the OG. Oh. And, he ha and uh, Ashley had some really good questions for him. I want to talk about that here in a little bit. But Bear now, pocket sevens, raises it up to 50, Garrett. Wanting to build up that stack even further comes along with 6 5 of spades. Mimo says no with the 9 8. And OG Four finds a hand, hand he doesn't like, but Buddha, will he raise here? He's just going to call. Sako doesn't want to oh, be left it. out. Oh, no. He oh, does no, not want to be left out. I thought for a second he min clicked that, Vic. My <laughs> eyes were playing <laughs> tricks on me, but yeah, four players. 10, queen, jack. Not a bad flop for Buddha flopping mid-pair. The gut shot the Broadway. He's got the best of it. Not a great board there for sevens. Let's see if the bear wants to do a continuation bet here. Get a feeler. And he does check. Garrett checks. Free card going to the turn. The eight comes along. Does give bear some outs. Has the gut shot. Sacco hits an eight, but <laughs> that's not enough for him to stick around. No. Just push him up. Don't shuffle. These cards especially. Colonel in the house. So careful with them. It's very easy to expose them when you muck them like that. What did you see? I think it was six of diamonds. No. Diamond. No. no. I know what he's talking about. Though. Even I see you got you love the yeah. shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> When he, when he grab it and when you walk it both times, you can. Yeah, fix it all right. Damn But um, Ashley was asking um, John about watching the live stream after he plays, and he says he watches it n not as often as he did when he first started playing, but he still tries to go back and watch it at, at is, every uh, night, like possibly. But like what he fast-forwards to, like what he likes to see is he wants to know on a particular hand or maybe a half a dozen hands, did he have the right read? on oh, okay, any given player okay. where he might have folded. Okay, that's um, right. that's what that is. And that's what he likes to do. And the two of them started then talking about the books that are out there on tells. And those are the books that uh, OG John in his career playing poker has focused on. And it's really about the tells for OG. Um, and it's for him, a big part of the game is his level of play was it good or not was based on did he get the right tell even if he even if he if he folded and thought he was you know ahead and then he gets that affirmation and then he says he makes those notes in his head it makes sense because his range is so big so you're going to be put more and more of those situations yeah here we are heads up between these two talking about big ranges And now Garrett yeah, has two pair with that same nine. Concept is with like a hardwood floor, right? Yeah. But different. Sacco with eleven outs. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. Is this organic, right? A so bet of a hundred. Be a little different. It's not going to be. I like polish more than a box. Kind of a welcome mat there for Sacco. It's 
Shiny. A, a, epoxy is it's more a pair like with a gut like shot. Finish, like they'll do like on a garage floor, yeah, right, right, or something like if yeah. First light or like in the factory world, it's all solid. Four thirty in the middle, and there's a five. Garrett is still the with the check mark. Like, uh, is it like more practical or like durable? Is that is a bluff like card though. Four cards to a straight. Um, the flush hits also. Here's to see if Sako takes a stab at this, and he does. He's going to bet 275. And a lot of places don't invest in that, but to take care of it. Yeah. And Garrett with the call takes it down. Garrett, I'm very impressed with these pre flush hand selects in there. And like epoxy, like you saw something on it. It's a coating. And he continues to run well. And a good question there from Baloo about. Uh, chip denomination colors our colors for our chips are are very typical you might go to a certain casino or a card room and see something different but typically whites are a dollar reds are five greens 25 black a hundred pretty much Dom pretty standard yeah I'd say that's pretty universal yeah I mean you might see one or two card rooms that switch it up but Standard play right there. And I personally like that the rooms that kind of go with that, so no matter where you play, you at least know what colors are what. Right. So everyone has a slightly different chip, but I like that part. I like when every card room has a slightly different chip. Yeah. Just, you know, uh, if you have a chip collection. Yeah, and that's something that I, I don't have yet, but it, it's something that I've kind of wanted to start doing. When we got those new reserve chips for the tournaments, I thought those were some of the coolest looking chips yeah. that we use for our big ones at the final table. 8-3 deuce, rainbow board here. Ace high still in the lead for Buddha. Checks around. Free card. Five of clubs. It gives a gut shot to Buddha for the wheel. Wow. Free card here on the river. I'm going to do still. Check for Buddha. Board pairs. Buddha bets 100. Not really a reason here for either Rudy or uh, OG John to look this up. You know, with Rudy and OG John, with the wide ranges, though, I'm, I'm just, if, if Buddha thinks he's good with ace high, now he might be trying to do this for a bluff, like try to push a three or a five, maybe. I think everyone knows that OG would still call with the five. But a little surprise, maybe a bluff catcher, where you check it, you're prepared to basically play your ace high for 100 bucks because you have the players behind you right there. Who could easily bluff with a missed draw? Yeah, I kind of, and I'm sure Buddha watches this. So Buddha, if you want to send me a text message? I love talking poker with you. I'm kind of curious what was going on in your head right there, being out for a hundred. But like I said, because sometimes players you do that move and you're trying to get them off a, a, a very weak pair. But you got OG John as one of the two guys. Who's, yeah, would you say the all, probably the most sticky at the table? He'll make you earn it, basically. Shane, hope you're having a good day, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Something about WrestleMania? Oh. I don't I don't take those questions. I and uh, that is a, I, a, a I'm yes. not sure I could even Google and then give you that answer, but Dom would know right off yeah, the Yeah, WrestleMania is around our big event, but luckily, you know, if you got the WWE Network, you can play it later when you get off work like me. But here we go. We Heads up action here between the bear. Imano, Imano. Big John Stud. We saw them early on in a big hand. Beard versus beard. Six, four, queen. Couple of diamonds. Big John Stud getting the best of it. Continuation bet here. Kind of a feeler. I like to call it a welcome mat. Please call. Come on in. The water's fine. Ooh, the bear makes it up here. 
getting aggressive. And then gives him the leer. Well, this is beard versus beard. And there's a brick. Yeah, if you're Big John Stud, you are loving that deuce. Where are you based on? No diamond. Oh, and a check here. Now a free card. Bear almost put himself in a corner where he has to bet this with the re-raise. I mean, obviously you don't have to. You can wave the white flag if you think he's not going away. I don't think Big John still would be really think you're repping 5-3. Slow playing that straight, so I like the check from Barry. I bought, you know those air conditioners? Could easily put the Bear, though, on uh, Ace-4. But he's going to bet it. 300. And he gets out of the way. Big John Stud continues to run well. He is now at 3,500. This is a uh, $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. 5 5 10, no limit hold'em cash game here at the reserve in Toledo, Ohio, our staple Tuesday night game. Mm -hmm. I like to go to the message board. Just want to give a shout out to Mr. Enright for tuning in. Mr. Enright. Uh, PZ, thanks for your comment. By the way, earlier, um, Kiwi, by the way, said she hasn't been on. Yeah. Often lately, but she's been hooked up to machines. She's battling stuff at the hospital. Kiwi, we appreciate you, and uh, you're a big part of the show, especially all the way from New Zealand tuning in. And oh, as always, our thoughts and prayers are for a good recovery with whatever you're battling in the hospital and just a speedy recovery and get you back to 100% sooner rather than later. $25 button straddle, Garrett's going to come out. Fire in here with 9 6 of hearts, make it 75. Rudy Smooth calls with pocket fives. Ace Queen of Diamonds now for Buddha. It seems like it's the hand of the night tonight. It every, sure does. Every single show by about, you know, 90 minutes in to yeah. two hours in, Vic, we kind of pick a hand that we're seeing over and over again. And I've seen Ace Queen at least eight, nine times so far. Four handed, and look at this range. Well,. You didn't hit an ace or a queen, but you got the nut flush draw on a king three eight board. A couple of diamonds. Buddha has to be liking that. Continuation bet here with nothing but air. 175 bucks from Garrett. Not a great board there for Rudy's fives, so he gets out of the way. Snap call here from Buddha. And a snap bold there from Sako. So we're going to go heads up to the turn. It's running thin here, only three hours. Very thin. Well, that helps us. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. That's a diamond. I was just looking at the seven yes. for a second, thinking he had an open ender, but it. then I realized the flush came for Buddha. He's got the check mark. Dangerous situation here for Garrett. You do not want to hit your straight. That's a great card for Garrett. He doesn't know it yet. And Buddha's going to bring that one in. And show them. Show the diamonds. Yes, Cheeseburger in the house on the message board on YouTube, by the way. And he's coming this weekend. Love hearing it. Coming this weekend for our $100,000 prize pool guarantee. You're busy. You're busy. Two flights each Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Actually, we talked about the double. Speaking of double bag bonus, it's $1,000. Shane Christie. Uh, I saw that he was on here. Shane, are you coming in on Thursday? You're going to try to get one right away on day one? Normally we've seen him from time to time. Yes. Bag multiple days. Absolutely. Kind of pops out in my mind when we have big tournaments. Rudy, ace, king of clubs, raising it up under the gun to 75. Buddha still isn't done stacking up from the last pot. 
but gets out of the way with 5-3. Nothing there, nothing there. Now big John Stud pocket tens. Big hand alert, Vic. He makes the call. Rob gets out of the way, and we're heads up. Here comes the flop. Yeah, Rudy out flopping the tens. Free card now, and there's a ten. Oh, the freak. We, we say it always a couple times on wow. this live stream. That free card can really be a killer. A yes. little shocked with the straight and the flush draw out there. Mm -hmm. We saw that. Rudy now betting 115 in the Big John Stud. Yeah, they, well, it wasn't really one two though. They played it on capture it. I showed up. I showed up. I was like, you know, I came up from MGM, and I'm like, I'll stop over there and check that out. It's not far away. Just a smooth call. This hand has been value money wise played a lot softer than expected. Reaching for some green, and that's a good amount that could get him paid off. 175. This is never good when you're in this situation. You're pretty much just beating a stone cold bluff right here, even with Ace King. And yeah, he's going to show him the news. Rudy did not look surprised. It was almost an obligation call because you hit your king. And typically we see Big John Stud come into this game. Um, you know, he's a very solid player. But he doesn't typically run hot in the early part of the game. Agreed. Um, and usually plays catch up in, in like the third and fourth hour. Starts to get a feel of the table. Or just starts to get some cards. This time he's out to he's just jumping into the pool head first here. Yeah. And taking down pot after pot. He's, he it all started profit. with a big pot between he and the bear where it came runner, runner threes and counterfeited the two pair that the bear had. And he continues to run well. And, yes, Colleen, I just got your email. Thank you so much. You might have a funky card there. The funky Co Medina? <coughs> what? That was the 80s jam. Do you remember the funky Co Medina? Every time I hear the word funky, that song okay. co comes to my ear. Small blind for Big John Stud running hot, and now he's ace queen. He's going to three bet this to 165. Rudy. Couple of clubs, also a couple of clubs here for Nemo. And the clubs are cheap right now. They come with a free handbag. Love seeing this. OG John, 6-5 of clubs. We're three-handed. 5-30 in the pot already, and here comes the flop. 4-3 king. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. Look at OG John doing what OG John does best. Open-ended all over. There are three hearts out there. Let's see if this slows things down. A continuation bet here from Big John Stud. He's got position. And I'm going to guess that Rudy's asking himself, what am I doing in this hand? Oh, yeah. All right, I better fold. Here we go, heads up. In a whiff. Still, oh, Big John Stud still in the lead. Still in the lead. Twelve outs for OG John. And Big John Stud is going to keep the pressure on. Yeah, that's it's easy for 350. I've been in that same situation. It's easy for us to say when we're not. 
Yeah. You know, especially when certain things when they're the ones with them every day. And, and so, when you're running good, you're running good. You were here the Get the OG John the fold. Yes. Told her not to do that or whatever. You Another know, $480 profit. I, Big I John Stud exactly now up to 4400 Originally in for what, 2K? 2K, 2K, yes. And we've got a dealer change coming in. Young Patrick. And uh, corrected that uh, mossy card. And top of the hour, dealer change means bomb pop. Everybody in for 25 bucks. We are eight-handed. I'm sorry, we are nine-handed right now, so this is going to be a double board bomb pot. Everybody in for 25 bucks. Everybody's going to get four cards. It's going to be a burn and then a flop and then a flop. And then the betting will begin with the bomb pot button being on OG John. So Rob will be first to act. Yeah, ammo this uh, Tuesday night books up pretty quickly. And I know we've got a couple people waiting by their phones in case a seat opens up. Oh, look at this right here. So far we've got an ace-10-4, a couple of diamonds, 7-4 jack, rainbow. OG John's got diamonds. That's what it feels like. No one really hit it on both ends, though, Vic. And I'm not seeing any true monsters so far. Really, OG John is probably the hand I would want. You have a four on each board. You mm -hmm. have a king high flush draw, but that's yeah, nothing to you know, do a somersault over. No more fours coming, though. Bear's got one of those fours. couple of threes <laughs> right Jeez. on the turn. Anybody? Yeah, 6 5 for Rudy. Turns the straight. The bear also has 6 5. Hey, oh. <coughs> 200 for bear to make this call. Yeah, he also has two pair with 10 4. For Bear, so right now, I believe he has the best of it, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, so he would quarter. The Bear would quarter Rudy right now. One card to go. Here comes a river. Oh, and that three. What a big card for Rudy. Huge card for Rudy. Rudy's going to take three-fourths of the spot. They're going to chop it with 6-5. Aces and threes. Here, here, give him that all that. That's it. Give him all that, and I get a quarter in the middle. Nice up. Yeah, it's... Oof. Getting quartered in Omaha. Double board. Nice Never one. a nice feeling. Rather than getting swept, don't get me wrong. I thought maybe I was going to do that with the opposite until the river because I had 5-6, the same straight, and then I had two pair on the board you had the other straight. Nice end. It's scary. Now it goes this way. Goes this way. Oh, Who was the? It goes, goes backwards. Back Who was the button yeah, last one? It was, was Garrett's now. Yeah, it was the bus. Right I don't know how it went from there. It was. Yeah. I know. It went. So that's just where way. it was. I don't know. So I don't think it went the wrong way. way. I think it skipped somebody. Is what happened. No, it started here. Get over here. Yeah. It started here. Should have been here. Yeah. Finders keepers. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. So how did it end up there? Exactly. It didn't go the wrong way. It just straight up just jumped across the table or some shit. Somehow. There should have been OGs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was, was that the third bomb pot? Well, actually, it should have been you. Yeah. You know what? That was all fucked up. I think you owe me about 300 <laughs> back. <laughs> no, that was right. That was not right. That was not right. <laughs> Let's just do it over this time. Yeah, do, do it over, right. rebate. I, I agree. <laughs> so, I 
thing I want. Boys to chirping at the table. How did you end up with it? I have no idea. But it should be Johnny's. Give yeah. it to Johnny. I should have tried to buy you one. Sorry about that. Five players. Six players. Check. 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 Rudy now. Trip fours. Bets 35. Nemo coming along with a flushed gut pl shot flush draw and I'm sorry, the gut shot straight draw and the flush draw. Trying to say too many things at once. And Sacco coming along with a seven. And the board pairs and now Rudy's got a full house. Checkmate. What a turn card. Wasn't what uh, Nemo wanted to see. He had a lot of outs, though. He did. Two would have been no good, but clubs came alive. Six came alive. And now Sacco, I mean uh, Rudy, picking up some momentum. Yeah, Joe S., uh, MGM Bob, we had this uh, Tuesday night fill up really quickly. Again, we will not be doing a cash game live stream this, 30 or th this Thursday or this Saturday based on the uh, $100,000 prize pool guarantee tournament that starts Thursday morning. There's a good chance, though, either Thursday or Saturday night. Domino will just pick up the headgear and do a uh, feature table here for that tournament. So please stay tuned. But without a doubt, on Sunday, we'll be watching some feature table. We'll be watching some $500 bounties taken down. That's going to be juicy. <laughs> That's going to be so exciting. Can't wait for that. Oh, you were in that seat. The final, you get nothing. The bear now looking down at Ace Jack offsuit. He's going to bump it up to 50. Yeah, more than two hours. I was watching Big John Stud, pocket nines. Isn't that the handy one the big one off of? Yes. They had to give you respect. Yeah. One hundred for bear to Nine call. Four seventy five in the pot. Pre flop three players. Young Patrick brings us this flop. We got a queen, ten, seven board, all hearts. A free card in the board pairs. Big John Stud. Doesn't know it, but he's in a pretty good lead here with his pocket nines. I wouldn't say a commanding lead, but a pretty good lead. Three forty to go. <coughs> Tough spot here for Big John Stud. This is one you have to really stick with your read. Lays it down. And bear. Getting after it with a little semi buff there. Still had a lot of outs. But nice hand. Well played.
And I did notice, uh, Colonel, you said you're going to be here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that, Colonel. I'm so glad you're coming in for uh, all three days of the day, day ones. It's going to be a fun time. It really will. Straddle is on. Now we're going to bump it up to 50 from the Bear, who keeps on putting on the pressure. Jack 10 of spades. We're seeing a lot of playable hands here, Vic. This is one of those situations uh, in the cutoff with pocket threes after a raise to 50, and you make a smooth call, and you're just hoping. No more raise, no three bet, no three bet, no three bet, because you really want to see a flop at this point oh, yeah. with the threes. Jack 10 suit, too. You don't mind multi way action no. here. You're, you're hoping to hit it big. And talk about multi way action. We got six players, 315 in the pot. Look at that range, and here comes the flop. Five right in the window. Five oh, reduces. boy. Yeah, Rob hitting a set. Also, look at Sako. With a pair and a gut shot. Same with OG John. Top pair and a gut shot. This could be huge action. Man, call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. We've got a big hand alert here. The bear opened up this action and now gets out of the way. So does Garrett. A smooth call here with the set of threes from Rob. Now we're three-handed going to the turn. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Two players turn the straight. Oh, my. With the best of it. And now and it's still Rob. This, right now, not a good situation, but Rob could vote. He could he on could the go. river and really get paid off here, especially for two seventy five. Rob now seven outs by my count. I don't know what uh, the computer knows. And oh, OG. That's, that's not one of them. It stays pure. 1,500 in the pot. This cam and I don't think this pot is done yet. And Rob is probably looking at OG thinking yeah. this is his type of flop. This stinks. Yeah. I was hoping for the board, the pair, and he could have definitely gotten paid off. Fifteen hundred already in the middle. It looks like it's close to five hundred, maybe four fifty. I'm sorry. Four twenty-five. Uh, I don't not think they're good. I'm just surprised that like he, there's not like some equally good games or like because he plays a lot of two-five when he goes there. I'm surprised there's just not like equally good two-five games around here that make it not worth it to drive to MGM Detroit. You know, there's a casino, there's some private games. There's, Shut up. I feel like there's some decent options locally for those. Six, here comes the reaction. Yeah, I mean, there's just only 2-5 in the casino on Thursday, Friday. Oh, they only have it, those. There's only 2-5. Not the reaction I thought. <laughs> I thought the board. But OG John doing what OG does. Takes down one heck of a nice pot there. When we asked to get to 50 likes, we got there, like, right away, Dom. We really appreciate our viewership. And look at this uh, level eight now here for our tournament tonight. A couple more levels, and then they'll go on a break. At the end of the break, that'll be the end of late reg. What a silent $1,300 profit for Buddha so far. Yes. Normally, when he's up that amount, I kind of it sticks out in my mind what hands he does. Right now, it's just been kind of under the radar. Just climbing his chip stack up from 2,000 up to uh, 3,400. Big John Studd has, has had some memorable hands. Nemo got up big, I mean, through a double up up to 2K. He's still ahead right now, but 
Hasn't had a lot of play in the last hour, but it's a marathon. It is not a sprint. No. And a disappointing set of threes there for Rob. He now has king 10. He's going to raise it up to 55. OG John coming in with 10-4 clubs. OG John bets the flush draw. Takes it down with a little semi bluff there. Yep. Right in his wheelhouse. Yep. Now two pots in a row there. All in from Sako for 293. OG John giving him some action. A6 offsuit. Here we go, 656 in the middle, and there's a top set right away. And that's going to give the check mark on the turn. Sako is going to double up. Yeah, much needed pot there for Sako. <laughs> nice hand, Sako. Get in there. Get in there. Let me show the flop. When you showed that, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you couldn't believe it until the last one came I up. I was like, what the fuck am I going to hit with? I was a lot of jack. Yeah, yeah. Like, jack. Like, yeah. Why are you so lucky? Why are you so lucky? If I would have added more chips, I would have went all in on it. It's probably my eight. I wouldn't have called. No, just a small way. Like, I would have made it probably $100. I got an ace. Yeah, you were just giving action. Yeah, I got balls. <laughs> I'll give it to him. No, no, the one card was supposed to be in this box, guys. Right? The one card was sitting in that box. Where you go? Yeah, it's not one shot. Yeah, there's one here. Right, I think it was one here. It's a misty old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. When do you hit that? Yeah, one card was supposed to be in this box, right? One here, I one, 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 John Studd gets rid of the shimmy. 10-8. Rob away from the table with sixes. Rudy with the mystery hand. He's going to bump it up to 55. I know you were going after your buddy. How do you rank? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought you were going to get your buddy. Yeah. 
And we got a few mystery ends here. There must have been something with the reader guys, but we got a 10 7 3 board going old school style for one hand tonight. And we got a rainbow flop, initial razor now. Gonna look down. Yeah, he's trying to. We'll get an update here from uh, the chosen one. Let us know. Sometimes it's a particular card that isn't getting read and then uh, has a tendency to. Yep. And we're right back to the action here in the next hand, we're told. So a little glitch here. We do know that there's uh, over that there's a thousand dollars in the pot. Nice pot though. One nice pot. Middle. Going to Rudy. Rudy. Hey baby. Bob was. Bob went all in with three hands and he had eight king, eight queen, eight king. He didn't even have a pair. TYF checking in from Minnesota. Thanks for the kind compliment. I mean, hope you're doing well. He raised free flop. Flop is nothing. He bets. Like, after the pot, the guy goes, we raise and we call, we can't fold no more. Thank no, you. Kiwi, you did not miss. Uh, we have not had a uh, lady stream, and we've got this big tournament coming up this weekend, and then we've got a two-week series to celebrate our three-year anniversary coming towards the end of April. So probably uh, not another ladies uh, live stream until uh, May is my guess. Yeah, it's been We've a whirlwind busy time at the Reserve Poker Club with the one million guarantee and then a quick turnaround to the 100K and then another quick turnaround to our anniversary series. A lot going on. He's probably coming back. He'll put it in the microwave. I bought uh, I bought sandwich chicken uh, shawarma and beef shawarma. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah if you, brought, you guys want to take a five minute break after, we, uh, we go eat. Myself and Vic looked at each that other. That got our attention. <laughs> Vic, you might have to do an intel run for us. Beef shawarma and chicken shawarma. Can you, uh, if I have a choice, beef, probably. Probably from the Dearborn area. Yeah, he told me he was going to bring in some goodies. So, so Vic, it's yeah. going to be uh, it's going to be top shelf, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I can guarantee you, Vic. Please, when you, if you can do one of your tournament update runs, <laughs> like in the next three minutes, and go make sure we grab one of those before they get taken. He did tell me he was going to bring us in some next time he comes in and plays. That's crazy story. That's crazy Yeah, beef shawarma all the way. The power of the Buddha is going to make it 50 with the ace queen offsuit. <laughs> and Sako coming in with the suited queen. That's why you lose pocket queen because everybody see it. <laughs> 50? Yep. Four players now going to the flop. 220 in the middle on a 3 5 6 board couple of clubs. Two pair for Rudy. Also, Sako hitting it hard with an open ended straight draw with a queen high flush draw. This could be big hand alert written all over it, folks. Yeah, it's just long. It's a long day, right? Sako, too, with only 736 behind him. 500 already in the pot. We could see a push situation here. Yeah, booty. Buddha gets out of the way. <laughs> I mean, with that hand, do you really want to ever fold? You might as well try to get it all in now. And if you can take it down with queen high, so be it. Yep, love the play. Yeah. Good, predi good prediction there, Dom. And uh, we're going to see a call here, absolutely, from Rudy. So 
really big pot coming in, heads up. To the turn. <laughs> Young Patrick getting the uh, pot right. Put that glove first. And is that the uh, <laughs> that the fastball? One time, Rudy. Going two times. You know, I gonna be straight. Yep, two. Pre-tip, pre-tip, right. Glove. Glove. No glove is gonna be on the dirt. I had a oh, baby. Yeah. I don't need a club. <laughs> he doesn't need a club when you can hit the straight. That's the one, oh, first one. Oh and God. a club on the <laughs> second one. He's going to scoop? He is going to scoop, folks. Wow. Sako picking up, I think, 1700 in that pot right there. What a comeback for somebody that was just down to $248 in chips. <laughs> Thomas, the take engine, the little engine that could. Yeah. <laughs> The bear. Ace ten. He's had that hand a few times tonight. Right now, you like, seem to always call when I raise. Like, like, the, like that three five suited that Rudy had. That's oh. like about the bottom of John's range right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. He got. <laughs> that's the one he got before four K. Sako, I think he's riding the wave. He saw a suited queen no, it was five, three hard. with the rag. It worked out great last time. No, no, it was, no, it was five, three hard. I remember. See if the heater is real. Two weeks ago. Three players. Yeah. Right after. And wow, oh, top boy. set for Nemo, mid pair for Sako on a six nine five board. Bear Nemo. whiffs it. Nemo's been pretty quiet. Probably with uh, the lowest VPIP, so a much needed hand for him. Although, that's not a great card. The third spade. And he checks it. Back over to the bear. A little surprised. I, mean, I am. I guess I he's banking on bear to put something in there, and it looks like it's working for Nemo. Just a call here from Nemo. Yeah, surprised he hasn't dictated any action yet in this hand. Even right there, just either making some value in case he's on a flush draw in some sense. Now, if you are going to check, this would be the time. Yeah, in case his draw is missed, try to see if he can bluff at it one more. Wait, Nemo's played this. He might get a bluff out of Bear here. Nice. Oh, wow. Didn't take the bait again. So, Bear playing some nice defense there. Lying in the weeds with that set. He got the most he would have out of Ace High, though. The way Nemo played that hand. Pumped at an Ace High bluff. Almost got him the bite twice. We're going till 11.15 tonight. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I know before we uh, hit the top of the hour, we should be able to get to at least 75. So please hit that like button. 
Yeah, smash that thumbs up. Helps out the live stream a lot. It helps us a great deal. OG John now under the gun, raising up to 35 with nine six of spades. He's been a little quiet after a bit of a heater. Trying to get some action going again. Sacco coming in with the jack nine. Big John, it's his night so far tonight. He's in position with the king queen. He's going to make the call. Rudy with a couple of clubs, ace five, and now Nemo pretty much priced in, throwing chips all over the place, but makes the call. And we are six-handed, I'm sorry, five-handed going to Giddy the up. flop. Oh, boy. Momentum has shifted Sacco's way. Trip jacks. Nine kicker. Sacco. And check around. Free card. Has Sacco been running good or what in the last hour? And it, was, it started off horrible. Which is a, a turn of events here. OG John was the pre flop aggressor. He checks his open, or he checks his uh, gut shot. There's yeah. a bet of 100 from Sacco. Makes it look like a feeler bet. Rudy got a piece of it. Nothing there for Nemo. And Sacco. Another pot. The comeback. The comeback is real. It's happening right in front of our face. 1,800 now in front of him. A little bit of the run good. Two top sets against me. The other one was all on free block, but you still made top set. Hey, Colonel, you might want to check in with Marty from Pittsburgh. Uh, she and Diane came over this weekend uh, to play, and they brought their RV. I know it was in the uh, parking lot during the uh, <laughs> tournament they were playing, but I'm not sure where they uh, parked it overnight. Want to give a shout out to Anastasia for a ten dollar tip. Says dropping in my like, love y'all, miss you. Hopefully, uh, I'll be back soon. Anastasia. Yeah, Anastasia. By the way, just for everyone in the Toledo community, I know it's table games, but Vic. Before COVID, I had to work table games when I was at another establishment yep. for a little bit, and there was a man, uh, Maurice D, who welcomed me with open arms. Was a very kind person and. He was well loved in the poker and table games area, and I've seen it all through social media. Uh, he passed away uh, randomly oh. in the last 24 hours, and I know there's a lot of, including myself, there's a lot of uh, co workers, family, friends that are just in shock. So, uh, Anastasia, to everyone, your whole crew out there, I just want to say, um, you know, I'm sorry for the terrible news. He was a true gentleman, treated me with. The utmost respect, even though I did, I wasn't super close to him. He made me feel very welcome, and it uh, just shows the type of character he had. And I hope everyone over there um, is with each other, getting through that tough time. OG John with a gut shot bets it. Buddha coming along now with his flush draw, aka the uh, nemesis suited, and the board pairs. OG John looks like he might fire at this. He checks it. They're going to go, I think, check, check to showdown. And Buddha will take this down by virtue of his King Jack. Is he going to show it? He did show it. And uh, what's the gentleman's name? Uh, Maurice. Maurice D. I don't want to put his last name just in case. You know, I don't know if they want his last name out here. But Maurice D. He's a, he was just a great human being. Like I said, I, I had to go to another, with COVID, I had to go to another department. At the time, yeah, uh, poker wasn't open, and he right away when he knew me, he just welcomed me with open arms, made me feel very welcome. Actually, and so many people did in that department, and um, found out the unfortunate news that he passed away, uh, not expected, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's just the whole Toledo table games poker community knew him pretty well, and it's just one of those things that just sad. What is it? Just a round of 20 strals under the gun. He started it. So 85. Buddha will be the last one. I'm just going to get up and go to the 
Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, by strong guys. Sorry, I got a table. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> <I'll> be back. <laughs> you were straddling all the way to the button. Yeah, yeah, you will straddle. I'm I'm not not afraid afraid straddle. I know. No, I know you'll straddle. This game is so big. I know you'll straddle. We don't need the extra action. It's a huge game. Never hurts. Always, never hurts. More is better. More is better. You and I, huh? Heads up action. We got pocket pairs, queens versus sevens. Garrett versus Rudy. Here comes the flop. We got a 5, 10, 8 board, couple of hearts. Well, I'm just saying that if you if if that's if you've been playing more Hold'em, I mean, he's got to go to Hold'em. Yeah, he's got younger, younger Calvary. Yeah, he's been texting me. I might get some action here. Saying, you, you Not a horrible play flop play for sevens. Just all depends what you put your player on. He's got a couple of overs. Garrett does, but no. it's paired. Well, she is at hers, yeah, but the problem is... is Flush draw comes on the turn with the king. With it, like, overlaps, Ace of diamonds it. on the river. It's like, oh. I told her a bunch of well, and they might get it, but it's the ace king uh, certainly the run out of the king and the ace, the third heart slowed everything down, but Garrett will uh, will have his queens hold up. Garrett having a good night, and we saw Garrett last week go down and then uh, go down in chips and then make just one heck of a comeback. Uh, really had a good night. I uh, talked to him a little bit before the live stream, asked him how things were going otherwise, and he said he's actually on a little bit of a heater, not yeah. just here, but he's been playing well. This game is so much like that. You ride those ups and downs. Um, sometimes you can get in one of those down situations. It seems like you're going weeks, if not months. You just can't get anything going, and then suddenly it turns around. It can be very discouraging, and, of course, it can be <laughs> very elating when things are going your way. But there's really... Unless you're you're finding things about your game that you're not doing well, and that's causing that, or your psyche is not with it. When those ups and downs happen, sometimes those are out of your control. Yeah, and those are the tough one, tough times to ride out. Here we are now, four-handed to the flop. All hearts, ten three queen. Buddha flopping the flush, but Saka with the ace high flush draw. There's a blank on the turn. Buddha still has a stranglehold on the hand at 81%. Four ways. OG John bent with 0%. Sure made it affordable here for Sako to see another card, potentially yeah. another heart. Pretty cheap. So that's, to me, that's almost like a free card at that bet level. And it's a whiff. That looks scary, but the board does pair. See if that slows things down. OG John looking to keep up appearances here. Not in the big way, though. Continue, same bet as before, 40. Nice bet here for, for Buddha trying to get some more value into the pot. Raises it up to 150. Unfortunately, he's not going to get a call here. But... Certainly running better than he has the last couple live streams is Buddha. Power of the Buddha. Big John Stud being patient and it's paying off off to a really good start tonight now picks up another pocket pair we've seen him with nines and tens Rudy now picking up kings here comes a raise three bet to 175 Quick call here from OG in position with Ace Jack. Buddha gets out of the way. Man. Same card here for uh, hand for Sako, Ace Jack. Hey, curious to see with 175. It's not for this size of the game. It's not a crazy price. Will we get more than one coming along? I don't think Big John Studs going anywhere. 
No. And Garrett. <laughs> I love Garrett's play. Mixing this up. Coming in with 7-5 of diamonds, putting everybody else on big cards. So why not come in getting 4-1 to one on your money? Yeah, 7-20 in the middle now, Vic. Nice pot builder. Rudy has to be loving this as long as his hand holds. We have a 3-10-4 board. And right now, Rudy's in great shape. Just a gut shot straight draw. Pretty much has to dodge. What a six and a eight. Well, and this bet is not asking for callers. This yeah, bet is let's now. shut this down. I'm fine with uh, what's in the pot. Not getting greedy. Not getting greedy. Not waiting for somebody to pick up a straight or a flush. This is a tricky spot for eights here. Smooth calling is not recommended. And here's the thing. He bet 700. He's got 298 behind. So you know it's going to cost you 1,000. And he gets out of the way. Good day, Andrew. Nice And he... Profits 545 there. Yep, working his way back up to his original $2,000 buy, and this is a 5 5 10 no lemon hold 'em cash game. $1,000 to $2,000 buy, and with a match the stack, we're going to 11 15 tonight. We are nine handed, and I did hear some talk about potentially going well after the live stream is over. Five. Little surprise there, probably, when you see all the action on the hand prior. I think you're at least getting one call for 85. going around the table. They got our orange slices in that machine out there still, John, or what? Yeah. yeah. Five players now going to the flop on a 10-6-8 board. Couple of hearts. And not a lot out there. Top pair for Rob. Bottom pair for Buddha. With all those hands. Looks like OG is going to come along with his gut shot. And he hits it. That's a classic OG move right there. And the six pairs the board. Gives Buddha three of a kind on the river. OG John might get paid off here. Betting 225. Sure enough, Buddha makes the call. And John shows the straight. <laughs> and John <laughs> taking down another pot. <laughs> nice hand, OG. Yeah. 
We have hit level 10 here with a minute and 20 seconds to go on our Tuesday night blast off tournament. Four tables out there. They'll go on a break while they do a color up at the end of the break. That'll be the end of the late registration. So at that point, no more re entries, no more add ons. <laughs> Nemo smooth calling here with ace queen. The last time he said that, he had pocket tens hey! now for Buddha. Rudy! Go sit in the car, Rudy. He's giving out your secrets. Give him a timeout. Speculation on the hand. Give him a timeout. Buddha suggests sending him to his car. This one could get big. A lot of potential here. Especially on the button for Bear. Yeah, there it goes. Blast off. Standard play here. Also, Bear getting a little information, trying to see where he's at with his ace jack. Nemo getting rid of ace queen pretty easily. <laughs> They're trying to shame Sako for folding. Oh, look at that. Ace, six, queen. Bear flopping the best of it. Not a great flop there for the tens. Check. And check, check. Here comes a free card. Oh, full house. Man, Nemo would have had a full boat. A little shocked you full of ace, queen so fast. It was like an instant muck. Not to say you have to be married to ace queen pre flop, but it was just like boom. Three seventy five, three hundred seventy five. That was the uh, case queen as Sako also oh. folded a queen. Mm hmm Buddha looking up another card here. He's got two outs. Sixteen hundred dollar pot. And that is not one of them. The third spade comes out. There's plenty of showdown value here if Bear wants to check back. His hand's pretty strong. What are you really going to get called with if you raise? Especially with Buddha in the hand. Looks like he's reaching, trying to get a little more value. Uh, oh. Oh. oh boy, and he's hey. going to get paid off. A call there from Buddha. A uh, little surprising there, but yeah, Bear. Trying to make it look like a bluff, and it worked. You don't see Buddha do that too often. A $1,600 profit here for the Bear. Yeah, well, I'm surprised it's just the players in the hand. We've seen Buddha and Bear quite often on this live stream. Vic, yeah, even and it's Nemo's got to be kicking himself <laughs> on that one. And uh, chosen one, if you get a chance, uh, we'd like to see the uh, VPIP. We've got a request. Whenever you get a chance. I'm not checking if you're in three ways. I'm not going to check. And there the, at the uh, bottom of that, Big John Stud, who's having a good knot, Nemo, and then Rob. $20 button straddle. I'm sorry, uh, $20 straddle. Garrett's got a couple of hearts in position, so he makes the call. 15 for Rob to complete, and he does. Back over to Nemo with the straddle, his option, and he checks it. One of my favorite things. Six-handed going to this flop. Here we go. 120. 4-8-3, rainbow board. Got shot for OG John. Top pair for Garrett. Bottom pair for Nemo. 
Rob gets a piece of it too. And then Big John Stud also. Man, a lot of players getting a piece of this. Yes. Two players with a top pair. Big John Stud currently in the lead. Snap call there from Rob. Nemo, Nemo, bottom pair with a king kicker. He folds. Still probably a little sore between the shoulder blades for not calling with that ace queen in the last hand. OG John raising this up now. Making it 175. Only one caller, so we're heads up. Big John Stud in the lead. And another eight for John, and he checks it. Now OG just has three outs here. He was trying to represent a big ha hand after the flop. The case eight comes on the turn. Like I said, that's just crazy. Yeah. And a blink. We are the reserve. 5105 Glendale Avenue in Toledo, Ohio. We want to thank everybody for joining us on our Tuesday night staple 5510 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game, $1,000 to $2,000 buy in. We're going to 1115 tonight. We will not have Cash Game live streams this Thursday or this Saturday, starting a big tournament Thursday morning, day 1A, 11 a.m. Doors open at 10 a.m. Please go to the reservepoker.com where you can always get updates on our daily tournaments. We're open here seven days a week. Garrett now in the cutoff, ace queen, and he's going to raise it up to 75. Another pocket pair for Big John Stud, pocket sixes. He makes the call, and the OG. 55 to complete. Why not? And Sako comes along, so we're four-handed. And oh my goodness, what a range! Here we go. OG hitting top pair here. Action's heating up. Sako gets a piece of this, but checks it. Garrett, the pre-flop aggressor. Puts a feeler bet, continuation bet out there of 75. And we got a little sprucer here. Let's fluff up the pot to 470. Oh, and Sacco now gets two pair with the king. Okay. He's going to check it with a rainbow board out there. The preflop aggressor keeps the pressure on. 325 is the bet. Okay, Garrett's trying to represent ace king. Deep down, Sacco's hoping he has ace king. It's close, but no cigar. Big John Stud coming Big along. Big John Stud. He's got the gut shot. Curious to see if this slows down Sacco then with just a smooth call there. If he's putting someone on a set or 6 5. I like this. Yeah, just bump it up. Go all in. If they got it, they got it. You hit the card you wanted on the turn, either a four or a king. Can't ask for much more. Yes, sir. 
Dom, you uh, uttered a sentence that may not register uh, when you use slow down and Sako in the same sentence. True story. Not your fault. I was, but just with some of the play we've seen in the last <laughs> 10 minutes, I, 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 I'm, I've been scratching my head a little bit. I was just kind of going with the vibe of the table. Had a, had a few unorthodox plays, to say the least. John Stud with the decision. gamble here if he comes long. Big decision for Big John Stud. Cool. And we got a call here. 3,900 in the pot. If Sako holds, this will be a sick comeback. And he does. And Sako, up to 3,900, just a little while ago, was hovering around 3,400. And now all of a sudden, four grand's in front of him. Don't put anything else in there, bro. What a hand by Sako. Giddy up, folks. We're having chips being passed around the table. The poker roller coaster. Sako's modern life. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm assuming I have another uh, gentleman in, around the age of 40 if they're if they're gonna pull out these sacos of modern life, Nickelodeon at its finest. Tom D. Sometimes I mix up the names when I when I get uh, identifications on here. The screen name for YouTube because we come across a lot of them. But the Sacco's Modern Life was great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that sounds like something Tom would say for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Tom. Yeah, I forgot. That's great. Top of the hour and a dealer change. That means it's time for a bomb pot. Looks like we're going to be uh, eight-handed for this bomb pot, double board bomb pot. Everybody's going to get four cards. Fast Eddie at the helm. Action. Action. 
We got a seven, nine, ace board, couple of diamonds. And then we have a four, deuce, ace, okay. rainbow flop. Okay. Bomb pot is on the OG, so the action begins uh, with Buddha. Oh, top set for Buddha. Also has a flush draw and a straight draw to go along with it. Top set on both boards for Sako. Yes. Sorry, for Sako, not Buddha. Jeez, oh, Pete, Sako yes. is just on a heater right now. He really is. He was down to 248 chips. Yeah, he's going to try to make this get as much money in there as possible, fire on all streets. But it looks like everyone's going away. <laughs> wasted it. Top the sets. I don't think you wasted anything. I don't think so. If you, if you could, if it's meant to be, the pot will grow. Yeah. But in Omaha, in you Omaha, bet, you try to. That way, you can get it bigger on the turn, so you can make a bet that can actually get a player the fold. Yeah. So no, I I agree with Sako's play there. Even though he flopped top set on both boards, you never know what's going to come. And then you're chopping it. Might as well take the whole thing right now instead of chopping it later. I figure if somebody has set a nines and call him, me set a seven and call him. Because they're not going to put me on two pocket eight. You know what I'm saying? There's two aces on both boards. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You know, we all love Eddie. And I could tell this is someone who knows Eddie. Says... <laughs> The new dealer, he wears the same headset at his other job at the McDonald's drive-thru. I'm just saying, does Eddie get the most love in here, though, but the most trolling out of anyone? Is that just his personality? Yeah, you know, I've known Eddie for a long, si long time. and uh, Mr. I, Coffee. If, if he needed me to, uh, I would have ad adopted him a long time ago, so I, he feels like a stepson to me. Uh, I will come to his defense from time to time, but... I will also say that uh, he does set himself up for <laughs> much of this abuse. <laughs> and he'll be the first to admit it. The eights now yeah, for Buddha. Buddha. Great flop. Yeah, for an overpair right there. Do 7 4. Everybody just folded for Yeah. And now we're heads up. Now some outs here for Rudy. And that's not one of them, but it might be a scare card there for Buddha. He does check it. He does have the check mark. See if Rudy, nope, you're going to check it down to showdown. And here comes the showdown, Buddha with the pocket eights. Profit of 225. And now he gets back up above his original $2,000 buy-in.
25 to play. Things have been a little quiet here for the Bear, but now he's going to wake up to pocket 10s. Got 100. Raises it up to 100. Garrett. Classic 100. Didn't seem like it took Garrett very long to think about that, coming along with 10-9. He's been playing all over the board, and it's been working well for him so far. Ace jack for Nemo. And he's going to raise this up now in the cutoff. Good position for this bet, 400. And min clicking this for Nemo would have been a terrible thing to do against a play like player like the Bear. Um, what you want from a player like that is to just make a smooth call here. But he can be uh, very aggressive, particularly with a, po a pair, top pair like this. And we might see. He's looking back over. You know he's looking over at Nemo's stack. I don't, I don't think he, he's put him on ace-jack. Nemo made it known to the table he folded ace-queen preflop. Yeah. I highly doubt he's putting him on ace-jack with a three bet up to 400 right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think you. Wow. I really don't think. And here comes Garrett. But here comes Garrett. <laughs> you just saw pocket tens go in the muck, so Nemo in a great position right here. And you have a 8-6-8 eight, eight board. And an all in here from Garrett. Wow, he's playing the player right here. He's he really is. Put him on two overs. Nemo, find the Enrique Iglesias hero call. Huge decision. He lets it go with Garrett. Shows the bluff with 10 high. And Bear <laughs> says he should just quit now. That's fine. You can see later. I'll choose to be Wow. Well, I'm not with you guys. Garrett, nice strong play there with the bluff, leading out. Very well played. Almost played it like he had pocket tens. Yes. Like him and Bear switched. Yep, Garrett put him on ace king. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna go home early, all right? No, nobody minds. What'd you do? Fold eights? Pocket eights? <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> better, better, better. Yeah. Here comes Rob. Speaking of pocket eights, Rob now has the eights. He's gonna smooth call here. Yeah, I think he's seen the table. It's pretty much going around the table where they're bumping it up every hand, playing a little pot control, probably. Prepared 100 or less pre-flop. Ace jack or something. I thought you had ace king. You called? I still had outs. I suck. That's all I have to say. I still have one. Is that 
still win if they pump? I read, read that in a book one season. Four players on a 10 5 3 board, and the bear seeing a cheap flop gets top pair. Raises it up to 135. Is Barry going to fold the winner two hands in a row? He does. Wow. I'm not used to seeing Bear not know where he's at in the hand. That, take that as a compliment, Bear, if you yeah. watch us. I, I'm and the board pairs. OG John does not get what OG John typically gets. Doesn't hit as straight. And Rob's eights are going to hold up for a $345 pot, $200 profit. Rob representing one of the uh, players on the lower end of our VPIP, but he doesn't always play that way. Rob does mix it up quite a bit. The last couple times he has been used his table image to his advantage and he's, a couple times And now. he's starting to use his table image as well. And he had a pretty good night the last time he was in our live stream, and so far things are going his way. Not nearly as good as it is for Rob's played on here. Big John. So many times I think he knows in his mind, you can just steadily keep your chips between 15 and 2,000. You can get one half an hour where you could turn it in the 6,000. So he's playing some patient poker, waiting for his heater. Nemo with the mystery hand, but he lays it down. Rudy raises it up with the king-queen offsuit to 75. And here comes Buddha with pocket nines. Of all the pairs we've seen tonight, that's the one we've seen the most. Big John Stud gets out of the way. Yeah, smorgasbord of hands right here. A yep. couple of pairs, king-queen, 8-7, and look at that flop. Oh, boy. Two pair for Garrett. We got a uh, gut shot for Buddha with his nines. You see sixes, nines, king, queen, and eight, seven. You're going to get a jack. Oh, seven, and a free eight, card. Now a king. Rudy's going to get involved now. great board there for Buddha. For the price tag, do you think it comes along though for 150? Uh, I don't know. Buddha's not much of a uh, gut shot chaser. <laughs> for the price tag, it's not horrible. <laughs> no. Hoping for a 9 or a 10. That is not it. Garrett's two pair. Even with that ace coming, is going to hold up, but we'll see what the betting's like. Garrett checks it. Arguably, he still has a check mark. That's the worst non suck out card in the deck to kill his action. Yeah. Queen 10 gets there, the clubs get there. Any pair with the ace kicker gets there for a higher two pair. I mean, just an ultimate scare card for Garrett. 600 now for Rudy. Love this bet. Betting in the two other players it makes it harder for Garrett, Garrett to call. Oh boy, Rudy gets Garrett to lay down the best hand. Nice hand, Rudy. Very nice hand. That was one of the wor worst runouts you could have had for bottom two pairs. Yeah. And that was a nice bluff by Rudy.
Was it really, though, or did you think Rudy thought he had the best hand? If he I'd thought he had the best hand, it probably wouldn't bet a, th a bet that big, right? Yeah, he would have went for a little bit more value, I think. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much saying either have a straight or a flush or yeah. barely anything. And a pair of kings on that type of board is barely anything. But yeah, queen 10 got there. The clubs got there. Like you said, that ace. So many two pairs get there when you see an ace on the, on the river. It was a tough spot for Garrett. Not to mention, like I said, there's three players in the hand. How often do you get someone with the moxie to try to pull that off? That yeah. was, that's one of the best poker plays of the night right there, everybody. Well, other than Garrett's bet with the 10-9. Uh, yeah, Garrett's 10-9. That's probably my poker play of the night so far. Speaking of Garrett, he's got a uh, either a twenty or twenty-five dollar button straddle on there, so the action. Big John Stud. Pocket fives, so he's going to smooth call this. Rob gets out of the way. Rudy now, Jack nine, certainly in his range. Going to make the call. Nemo. That's not a pretty hand, even though they call it the Doyle. And a jack for OG John as well. Jack seven. And a jack for Buddha suited. Sokka wasn't at the uh, table to play his queen nine of hearts. The bear comes along, and Garrett's going to check his option. So we're going to go six-handed here to the flop. Nine, deuce, three, all spades. The ace-high flush draw for Garrett right off the rip. Top pair for Rudy. Oh, yeah, I just have to stack off on that flop, though, no matter what. Yeah. If I call. Garrett's going to raise here a bet from Rudy of 75. And instead of three green chips, Garrett throws out three black chips and makes it 300. I want shipper. And a call here. So now this pot, just a Bruin. A blank. Garrett, keep up the pressure. 600 and a snap call here from Rudy. We're at 1,300 in this pot, Don. 1,900. My goodness. And Rudy holds. Wow. Show me what it is. All of those outs for Garrett. That was not one of them. Check, check to showdown. It seems to be a theme, Vic. Oh, yeah. We're getting pot after pot, over a thousand in there. Everybody's accustomed to each other, and there is the look at that. Sako hogging all the profit right now. I know, and this changed so much in the last hour, hour and a half. It's just the quite the roller coaster as we typically expect for this game. Look at right there, Big John Stud and Buddha were running away with it early on. And look at that in the main room. First place tonight. Almost fifteen hundred dollars. Max value on a Tuesday. Yeah, fourteen ninety three paying top six places. Letting go. Pocket eights here for OG John. He's going to make the call. Heads up action. 10 5 7. Both players now have a pair. Let's see what the bear does here. He knows OG likes to play his draws. 
You could fire out with a 9-6 right now, and it's justified if you're the OG. Deuce. The bear? Getting after it. Call. Wow. Man. OG going nowhere right now with the Zates. 1,800 in this pot. Just like that. Almost 2,000 in the middle, Vic. Four outs for the Bear. That's not one of them, but a fourth diamond and the board pairs making things complicated. Let's see if the OG looks at that 10. That has to make him feel a little bit better, right? Seeing a second ten out there, Vic? For a club. I have to go. We gotta run twice. You gotta push our straight draw. That's the only way. No, 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 that is no. I'm not talking about that. Oh. I know you already have that. Oh. Yes. When you had the aces. The aces is a you board. Aces? Two more. Oh yeah, I have to. I want somebody in the pocket seven or pocket nine. Check it down to showdown. There's the pocket eights. That's a nice size pot for the OG. Probably Very nice size pot. My goodness. And yes, uh, I like that comparison. OG looks like a panther in the brush, just ready to pounce out. A panther? A panther. Well, that was a deep one right there. A panther. A panther. A puma. A cougar. <coughs> Panthers, though, are definitely extra stealthy. Especially the all black ones at nighttime. Yeah. You're not, and that's like the max stealth right there. You're not just settling for like a cheetah. Usually somebody, at least one person calls. Yeah, that's why I'll play. Here's a bet of 60, raising it up from Garrett with the Jack-10. And right into Nemo's Kings. Nemo and Garrett stack, now very comparable in size. He's going to raise it up now to 225. OG John. Oh, how are you feeling now? Better, but it still hurts. It's still a lot hurts? It's a lot better. It's just right there. Oh, it's going to hurt for a while. Did you, love gamble. Did, did you cry it's when blood. you did that? Oh, my. And an all in here from Garrett and a snap call from Nemo. Uh, a little surprised Garrett picked Nemo to do that against. Victor? You haven't seen him. <laughs> Come out betting pre-flop like that, I think, the whole live stream. And they're going to go one time. Uh-oh. We do have a gut shot. And Nemo takes it down. Doubles up. Nice. 26. The Kings hold up. Garrett was off to a really good start here tonight. And now things have gone south for him. Nice hand, man. Thank you. 
And for me, that's uh, unfortunate for Garrett, but it is one of the aspects of his game. He does run, or he does roll with those ups and downs without getting emotional about it. No, yeah, he's the even kill. Very he's, even he keel. Plays all the biggest games in the area. He's been there before. Like I said, a little surprised. I think there's two players, you know, especially with Jack 10, that I wouldn't test the waters with at the table right now, and that would be Rob and Nemo. Yeah. Pre flop. Everyone else, even Big John Stud, has opened up his range tonight. Yeah. So um, those two are playing some solid poker. They're trying not to get that V pip too high up, playing safe. But it's working out for them both right now as they're both ahead. So say what you will, but the results are in right now, and they're both in the green. I think he's blind. Well, then I'm have to look. He was oh, first yeah. to act. <laughs> <laughs> had a 130 <laughs> left. Nah, if it folds, then you call it out. Oh, you already looked too late. Nemo now with Jax. Uh, we're seeing lightning potentially strike twice here with Nemo. That didn't just happen. <coughs> did that just happen? It did. The bear now with threes needs 100 to call, and he's going to come along. So we've got two players here now that can bet and create a side pot between Rudy and the bear. Tyler, can you confirm, did he really fold Jack, sir? And we have a, well, Rudy. Rudy, up a three of a kind. Could be a blessing. Still in the driver's seat. Do I got a chance to win this? Um, <laughs> no, Garrett, you don't. <laughs> Garrett said, do I still oh, yeah, have a chance to win this? Unfortunately, Garrett, you don't. Diamond, diamond. No diamond, no chance. <laughs> oh, he's got diamond, too. <laughs> There's some unexplainable things. I, I don't know what's going on. Well, if we play that hand back again, and rather than uh, folding and rather than certainly not a smooth call, but say a raise to uh, 400, maybe 425, it's a good chance coming back around to Rudy that he's going to fold there, but not easy to predict uh, Rudy's actions. As he makes a call here with Jack to a diamonds, limps in. But let's just say you get, you take control of the pot and you make a significant raise like that. You've got a good chance you're just going to be isolated between yourself and Garrett, who went in blind. Yeah, I'm but, you know, we have the, we have the, uh, we have the comfort level of sitting here. I hope that sipping wasn't. on coffee and Mountain Dew and seeing the cards and second guessing people. True. But still weirded out by it. <coughs> Buddha. 
Ryan's going to bet now after the turn with his set of sevens, make yeah, it 75 flush, to go. Two flush draws, multiple straight draws out there. you got to throw a little something-something, get some value if they want to chase. Buddha holds. Buddha shows the sevens. Thank you, Colleen. Appreciate it. Yeah, it would be nice. Just real quick, give us 13 likes here for the Reserve Poker Club in Toledo, Ohio. Tuesday night, 5 5 10, no limit hold'em cash game, $1,000 to $2,000 buy in with oh. a match. $25 button straddle here from OG John. Folds all the way around until we get to uh, Big John Stud, who's going to raise it up. Ace-5 of spades. Right into Rob, who's got ace-jack. And Rob lets that go. Rudy, on the other hand, coming in with 10-7. And OG John has ace-5. Three so three-handed... Oh, boy. Three, ace, eight, top pair for both players. Curious to see if someone else pushes them out of the pot. Heads up action. Now a spade comes, and Big John Stud, 25 outs. But really, those most of those are uh, I got a little confused on the action there. Oh, a bet, 225 and a call. Queen of clubs. Of no consequence here. Choppity, choppity. Next time. Top of the morning. Top. So the we hour. do have a dealer change. Uh, Adam, <laughs> the professor, A.K.A. the professor, and he's trying to compete with his beard. His beard game is pretty solid. Yeah. I don't want to throw that. No. Make it look. Did you end up winning on Friday? I didn't call 500 pre-flop one time when, when uh, you would have flopped no, a sat, right? I remember. I remember after you told me that hand because I was actually kind of surprised. About fifteen thousand dollar pot. Yeah, I was surprised oh, that you didn't man. call that one. Yeah, that'll tear you, curl your toes. Sixty. Yeah. John usually calls those. Rudy now two. queen nine of clubs, yeah, raising it up to sixty. And the Dorothy suited here for OG John, queen three of diamonds. It's what in here we, we call in the Toledo area, the Dorothy. The bear now. Reaching for raising chips, ace king. Now makes it 325, Garrett quick fold. Yeah. 
And Rudy coming along. Rudy and OG John stack similar in size. And John comes along. Wow, we've got three handed going to the flop. Adam in the box, and here it comes, Dom. Couple of fours to the nine pick, Rainbow. Rudy's going to hit the best of this. Top pair, queen kicker. First to act. The bear, who was the pre flop aggressor, now he's going to put. Four seven three seventy five out there. Very first hand tonight here, crack my aces. Really? Yeah. Does that shit. Can't trust it. Dirty. I think OG John forgot that he had cards. I'd forget about those cards too. Oh a nine. Oh wow. Overkill. It is on lock. It's on lock. The bear cannot catch up here. Very aggressive pre-flop. Very aggressive on the turn. He's going to check it. Check that full house. If I were going to guess based on the expression on Bear's face, I think he's caught on to what's going on. Putting on the pressure. And Rudy's taking it down. Nice yeah. play. That is a uh, $1,000 right profit there for Rudy. <laughs> made him think on that one. He did make him think because it uh, made him think that maybe he was calling to tie with the ace. Yeah. You never, you know the old saying, though, Vic. You never like calling a big bet just to chop. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, in fact, yes. <laughs> in the long run, it doesn't work out well. Yeah. People already seen Kyle, you ask a good question, and I'm going to frame my answer, and I hope it doesn't sound uh, like I'm a politician here. 
but I'm not going to give my answer based on anybody's uh, play, their ability, their style. I've got to tell you that if you're looking at jumping up a level uh, and playing, it's really your first question you have to ask yourself is, do I have the bankroll for this? That's what I was about and to say. If you're looking at a $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in with a match, if you don't have $10,000 discretionary money, and that would be on the low end, uh, to be able to play, that would be the first thing to ask yourself. I would even at least have 20k if you want to play 510. Really, and that's really technically what do they say? You never want to risk over five percent of your bankroll. Yeah. A, in one meeting. Yes, exactly. A lot, a lot of these guys have grinded, and they, I, I don't know anyone's business, so this is just an assumption. But majority of these players have over well over 100k in their bankroll aside from their money uh, that they make. Adam, what are they having the biggest thing? And that allows you also to play stress free. You're not so you know you're not stressing over the hand and that's when you play your best poker another inclination might be for someone to think well maybe I can come into a game like this and for a hit and run and make a big score um, and you also I think also players poker players need to view their game on the long haul I know for a fact and conversations with a number of these players they are playing five to seven, maybe even nine times a week. Here we go to the flop. And Buddha now with pocket aces. Big hand alert here. And Rudy is going to bet his ace right into Buddha's set of aces and a smooth call here from Buddha. Very smooth. What a situation the case he sits on the flop. Yeah. Flush gets there on the river. Neither player have it. But each are wondering if the other has it. Really? Yeah, I guess the, it's quite mm. possible that that uh, six of spades slowed things down. For Buddha, but still a nice pot, eleven hundred dollar profit. Sick. But yes, um, yeah, hell yeah. You yeah, I guess you're not having having a having what 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 is your what is your bankroll? Where does that bankroll come from? How do you manage that bankroll? If you're a serious anywhere between a serious to a professional poker player, you've got to keep a book on yourself. Every day, every day that you play, you've got to be measuring your profits and your losses, and you've got to be taking notes on yourself and how your game is advancing. I think that any 1-3 player that, that is successful shouldn't jump to 5-5-10. Five, five, no. I think you should be playing 2-5 for a while and grinding that. And there's even some 2-5, two like, $1,000 max buying games that get huge. You hit those, you run good for about a year, you master that level, and then you go to 5-5-10. Five, five, but a jump from 1-3 is your average game to a 5-5-10 five, five, is, yeah, you got to. Got to put it in perspective. I'm going to talk a little bit about that a little bit more after this hand. I have one more thing to interject, but in the meantime, yeah, eight five jack rainbow board. Garrett gets a piece of this, and there's a uh, brick. But Big John Stud senses some uh, weakness, so he's going to go ahead and bet. Rob coming along, or Rob bet, I should say, and Big John Stud made the call. And Rob gets a 10 on the river. Bet and a quick fold there from Big John Stud. If those are the only two hands he can make it 300 with, we got a fucked up game, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> The tricky thing about playing poker or playing any anything that has an element of risk in it 
as we mentioned before, you can be periods of time where you're running well and other periods of time when you're running poor. And there isn't much you can do about that. And if you're playing above the level that you can afford and you hit a bad run, you put yourself in a situation where suddenly you have to back off and not play for a while. And the best way to get better at this game is to play, play, play. So if you are playing at a level that you can handle, you can afford, you're gaining more experience. If you're reaching, overreaching your bankroll limits and you hit a dry spell and suddenly you can't play for a while, you're losing out on that experience. Three handed here now. 175. And we got a seven ace nine board. Two players floppy mid pair. OG John taking the keys to the car. Going to lead out for 75. We got a one-time call for Rudy. Oh, yeah. I mean, what am I going to do, board? I can't and that improves OG's hand as he gets an open under along with this pair. Five five ten, no limit hold him, and we've got a twenty five dollar straddle. The stream game and that is OG doing that un under the gun, and he's been doing that on the button as well. The game is living large. Only rooms I've ever played at in Texas. As it seems to almost every Tuesday night here. Not a lot of big hands as we're seeing queen three, eight three going around the table. So Ochi John's going to give us action. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a five, ten, eight board. This could be a little trouble flop for OG now, flopping mid pair. The bear has the best of it. He's going for value right here. For yeah, bear, put, bear puts out a welcome mat with that 75. OG John wants to test the waters now and lead out. Oh boy, two pair now here. See if OG John wants to continue to lead out, but he's going to check it. The third spade comes out. The straight draw out there, there's a flush draw out there, but the bear bets anyway. Uh, nice bet, like but a quick fold action. there from OG John, and a $620 profit there for the bear. 
one of my favorite places to play cash. If I do play cash, get it back one hand at a time. Resorts World. So you checking your watch? I guess, yeah, it's I'm getting I'm close. close. It's getting close to your favorite time. I, I, I do like want to back up a little <laughs> bit <laughs> to the uh, beginning okay? of the evening Otherwise, when we had the great <laughs> pleasure where I need to be, please. <laughs> of <laughs> Ashley <laughs> Adams, uh, poker Venetian, writer, but, uh, author, blogger, stay on stop by to tonight on his travels Venetian's from Boston and throughout the Michigan and Canadian area. Oh, usually the Venetian side, yeah. Said he was up in Michigan and everywhere he played, yeah, kept right hearing, you got to go to the reserve, got to go to the reserve. So he came to yeah, check it out. In a couple of weeks here, he'll be putting out an article about us. And I, I, I like gambling. He's there. written three I don't books. With him, but I like gambling there. And like writes the, for uh, numerous magazines. I like the restaurants there. I mean, there's good poker restaurants magazines. I like Venetian a lot. I like and it was really great to sit here with him for a little bit and get his get his insights. And it was a I'm it was a pleasure like having him. So like you could Google oh, Ashley like Adams the, poker, like and you'll see some of his work. And hopefully, like uh, also when like this article comes out, we'll share that with you. Here we go, five handed to the flop. And this is Rainbow, eight queen ten. Rudy with an eight. Garrett with an eight. And open ended here for the Bear. I played, I was sure. fortunate enough, sure. I got to play in a private game at Resorts World. So here we go with a free card. It was like a smaller game, it was just like 5 5, but it was on cap. Sure. Um, they stream it, but not like on a stream. They like stream it off their laptop. I think the guys are called like. Uh, We're on the table. No one has it right not now. Not He's yet. Gonna play pretend. Not yet, but they could pretend um, exactly. That was yeah. Jamie Gold. Who's going to be willing to do that? Yeah, he wasn't exactly great action, but <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> getting after it. He's got a gut shot <laughs> with a pair. So he bets 75. The bear now hits a pair, a better one than Garrett's. Are you saying Garrett? Garrett not given the option to show, although Garrett really doesn't show very often. He yeah, did really show that uh, big play that he made cash. against Nemo with the 10-9. Like but typically oh, Garrett cash. isn't uh, one that shows his cards. But anyway, he takes that Florida, pot down. I haven't played in Florida yet, but my buddies, couple of my buddies live in Florida, and they all say it's great. I just went for the last WP. Good. They're down there right now. My buddy's down there visiting, cause, but they live in, like, I forget, like Oko, or Kiwi Colleen, what we like really like about way. having this chat room, chat board, yeah. is participation Wasser, and participation Wasser. with uh, so many different views on this game. Absolutely. How they would play a certain hand, how they should approach uh, the game, whether it be tournaments or cash, and the differences between those. So absolutely, thank you very much. This is an open forum, really. We're here to discuss poker. We all have a passion for the game. You can tell these players come to the table with a passion for the game. And that's a big part of our live stream. Here we go, heads up. We got an eight, four, queen board, all clubs, top pair for Buddha. That's where at uh, uh, <laughs> Motor City Poker puts it so well. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah, I lose like a 4K pot to somebody. The table breaks, you go to a new table. I'm like, where's your orange chips? Chat so pros. I agree with Motor City right there. Pro chatters. Professional. <laughs> professional <laughs> poker players in the chat where you can see all the cards. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's I mean, honestly, perfect. Like, around here, we have a pretty good poker. I said, it, it's unbelievable when, you, especially on, on, the after the show. A lot of times, myself and Vic will go in there. We'll talk to the guys. Yeah, tell them good show, and we, we truly mean it. We're not just doing it as a routine thing. No. Like, really appreciate what they do uh, for everybody uh, when they play on here. And when you sit there, sometimes I'll 
If there's one seat open, maybe they're playing eight-handed after the show. Like one person has to leave, they drive far. I'll push the chair like a few feet back, and I'll just sit there sometimes for like 10, 15 minutes and watch. Yeah. And when you go from you have no clue on what some of these players have, the skill level at this game is, like I said, it's it's unbelievable. And like we're seeing tonight, these guys aren't just waiting around for aces, kings, and queens. You're seeing all these ranges being played. And the decisions these players are making, with us being able to see the cards, it makes it look so easy, but it's the opposite of it when you're actually there and you're just watching from behind the table. Case in point, look at this range. Ace-10 versus deuces versus OG Johns, 8-4. Oh, boy. Oh. We got top pair for OG John. Bottom oh boy. set for Big John Stud. A gut yep. shot to the wheel from Sako with two overs. A little bit of everything. It's like a chili. Yeah, Just throw it in comes, there. <laughs> here comes a continuation bet. No, no, a check from Sako. I was wrong. Set of twos here for Big John Stud. 255 in the pot. And he puts out a bet of 125. Everybody knows how to play. The question is, OG got a piece of this. Oh, that's a very cool statement. <laughs> Does Sako want to chase wrong, that gut shot? Wrong, wrong. Everybody does not want to play. Yeah, that's a good one. You know what beats what? Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody is this level. And that's pretty arguable, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. You'd like to think that. Right. There's, there's a reason you can play everybody, everybody huge stakes and the game still be good. It's because there's bad players. At everybody all does the, the hand ranking at this, at this level. But now we're heads up. Yeah, and everybody heads instantly up. sees what the nuts is without thinking about the it. The six is no help to OG John. I remember when I first started playing. A little bit I, I, possibly of an action killer one. with two, yeah. three, five four, cards to a straight, but I don't straight. blame Big John Literally Stud if he wants to keep putting <laughs> it in there. To see if I got a straight or not. Two on can't think they have the nuts every time. Like less than two years ago, I remember sitting at a one two Quick fold there from OG and Big John Stud. <laughs> Ran really strong here in the beginning of the night. Has run into a little bit of a dent in his armor, but he's still doing well. He's still got a, a profit there of 800. Sako, what a comeback. He was down to $248 in chips, and now he's showing a $1,700 profit. Nemo. His uh, thoughtful and patient play is paying off for him tonight. Buddha in the green. According to my calculations, that means you're all Fifty to go. Multiple players in so far. We're looking down at a weak ace on the button. Moneymaker. Boom. Yep. Yep. That was prime time. I'm not a huge fan of a six or a seven. I agree. I mean, literally in high school, me and my buddy were running like twenty-five cent, fifty cent games, three nights a week in his parents' basement. I remember. How old are you in first grade? Like Ace, yeah, four, seven, 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 rainbow, seven. board. Everybody except the pre-flop <laughs> aggressor gets a piece of this. Yeah. But you can uh, bet your pencil sharpener he's coming out with a, a continuation bet. Well, we, were, we were doing that for a while, and then my buddy who I was doing it with, like, he was just getting I don't know where that came from, Dom. Yeah. And I had been playing they were just talking like about school. I forget exactly Grade what school. The and so for some reason, the pencil shop popped into my head. Yeah. Stuff there. like, well, let's, just, let's get back know, to the poker. Alan, good question. Yeah, we'll uh, ask for an update here as soon as this hand is over. Sako's got the best hand currently. So He's going to call. And we remain three handed. 540 in the pot. Now that's an action card. Two lines players lines turning an open-ended straight draw. And with all and money in the money. Amounts, that's I was with the pair. My oh my. removed from online yeah. poker at that point in time. Like a couple of years earlier, I you know would have lost a lot of money or at least had a lot of money held up. I think like when that shit happened, I maybe had 
a thousand dollars combined in there between my accounts. Yeah. Like I didn't really play I, once in a while. Play a uh, like a, a Sunday. Main oh, or Kiwi! No, I you know, think you understood. Yeah, I was kind of far removed from playing online poker at the point when that happened. Luckily for me. OG uh, John now. Like Open ended, and he checks it. Play poker because there was nothing convenient or anything. Sacco's got the check mark here by virtue of his seven six. Got to believe he doesn't feel too confident about that, particularly when he's out of position. Two players behind him with wide open ranges. And he checks it, giving Rudy the opportunity to put a strong bet out here. $400 trying to take this pot down. Yeah, the streaming and the vlogging, and, I, and we're still in the middle of it. Yeah, it's, we're in a. We're and in that's where the being the preflop raiser the pays off. Second the, time, Rudy, if he gets us off, we'll have a nice bluff of with two other like players in the hand, and it Sunday. works. Yes. Yeah. Second oh, time. Yeah. On this live stream, Rudy. Timing's everything in poker. It's probably better. Yeah, for sure. Nice play, sir. Very nice play. And chosen one, if you get a chance, please, yeah. Tyler. Uh, got another request here for the updated VPIP, and we are in the power hour. And here we go. Let's hold this up for a little bit. OG, John, Rudy, and Sacco leading. Rob, Nemo, Big John Stud pulling up the bottom and right in the middle. But there's really nothing wrong with uh, almost any of that VPIP. Anytime you're 20% or above. We did see uh, some B big V pip here the whole card. from our good friend Caleb. Ended the night the other night a couple weeks ago with 91%. I don't think they do. If you remember Piers before that, like you couldn't see the whole cards. It was kind of hard to. They had stuff in there. It was like glass, and it wasn't nearly as neat as whatever WSOP did. That was. You still thinking about the last time? No, no. What did you have, Rudy? You had the winner? You had the winner? You had the winner? You had the winner? You had the Boy, we got a pot of brewing here oh, now. Oh, this is one of the juiciest ones of the night, folks. 1,200, three-handed. My goodness. Four, deuce, eight. You got to fuck this moment. Right a moment. Just under a third of the pot. From Big John Stud leading out 375. It's easy to be done. Have you ever seen somebody get two right. quads on one board? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Omaha, no, definitely. Have you ever seen the same person get two quads? Mm -hmm. I'll explain that. In Interesting two. pot size Why bet when there's a straight and a flush draw out there. And I know you're probably not putting a player on. A straight draw, but even with hearts, with two players in the hand, you think, man, if he had an overpair, maybe he makes it 50%, at least 45% of the pot. The seven, seven, eight, eight, like queen on one board. And basically saying, I'm not messing around, get out. This is pretty inviting right here from Big John Stud at 375, 1,200 in there. But he's going to take it down. He is going to nice take play. it down. Yeah. So he had like bottom quads here. on the one board and only a pair of sevens on the other board. Uh, I think the guy with 8-8 eight, eight, like had an ace on the other board too for a pair of aces, but literally... $800 profit the there for Big John good. Stud. So now he's building that stack back up again. I think at one point he was up close to 5000 if I if I recall. At least uh, four grand. <laughs> and we've got a dealer change coming in. We are at the top of the hour. This is the way we kick off the power power hour. With a bomb pot. Eight-handed. This is going to be a double board bomb pot. 
Young Patrick coming in. The bomb pot button. I mean, it should. At Rudy. Everybody's going to get four cards. Everybody's in. For 25. And the action after the four cards are out and the two flops are out will be on OG John. That's me. Oh, the bottom board. Uh, that's you me. Too. That's me. This is yours, I think. Uh, I tried to beat you to it. <laughs> a pair now we need on each board. Eight. Eight. All right, we're going to get the pocket. scooping eight, factor goes way down eight. when you get flops like this, yeah, Vic. We'd, we'd rather have the jacks and eights spread out so there could be a bunch of action, not both in uh, one person's <laughs> Yeah, <side>. you're right. <laughs> Ask him. <'cause laughs> the guy next to you. Yeah. I'm not even going to say I predict a chop, though, because we've seen some crazy That's things it. on this. We have. Huh? We saw a great bet from Garrett on one of these bomb pots. Looks like we're going old school style here. A bet is 75 from OG, and he does have Jack 10. Oh, wow. 10, 9. Saka with the Jack also. Jack 9. He's already got the full house, OG John does, on the bottom. He's in great shape. Curious to see if someone has an 8 or pocket 3s as we see 1 3 go in the muck, so. The likelihood of that goes down. Garrett's coming along with aces. Same with uh, Big John. St oh, Big John Stud has an eight with kings. Hoping that they can spike one also. Going good. On the turn or river. Yeah, because they got a big player pool for it. Five. Another five. And people, a lot of people like watching that. Some people, a lot of people. And Big John Stud now has the full house. That could be a Friday. I can't. I was about to say OG Saturday. John. I was just looking at the first Saturday, hand yeah, turned to flush draw, but yeah, yeah like you said, you Big John Stud getting there. Three, three fifty. So there's already three. average Joe poker. Three fifty is the bet. Well, yeah, we can just play off. Three, three fifty. Oh yeah, we, we don't have to get our own table. table. We, we stay outside. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. play whatever we want. That's what we like. We show up. Yeah, I think delicious. Garrett was just in there to see since you're getting hey, it's double board. You get two pulls, seeing if you could turn an ace. Didn't work. Cut, cut the bait. When you come to Saturdays, let's turn it. Oh yeah, they'll still will. But regardless, they'll they'll make it work if they know we're gonna want to play. Fourteen seven will make it. You know, really, Big John Studs free rolling. If you can hit a king on the other board, there it's a chop pot unless Big John Stud hits a king. So they're gonna get it all in, and obviously it's slim, but it's, we've seen crazier things on the live stream, Vic. All in before the river, and here it comes, and it's a whiff. Ooh, quads. Four of a kind. Yeah, choppy, choppy. But they get a little value. Over 100 bucks each. I'm glad. You lose. I'm glad none of my card was higher than seven. What do you have? A jack, jack seven, six, three. Jack, you fold 75? Yeah, I'm gonna fold. What do you think? I have nothing on the bottom. Buddha, can't get 10 moves. And my, my Jack is no higher than 7. I can't fold. I'm stuck in the hand. But over 7, I'm stuck. I lose the fold. Hard work is good, too. Yeah, but it's in the hard. Where? On the yeah, bottom? On the bottom, he's, he's good on the turn. You mean on the flop? He's only got pair of eights and kings. He had a full house. I had a full house. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah he had a five. five with it. Oh, yeah, an eight five. Won't be up there. Yeah, he had a two. That's why he went all in. You're right. I didn't see it. Yeah, that's why he went all in. Otherwise, he's not going all in. He, has, he doesn't have a full house yet. Yeah, it's... Back to no limit hold'em action Buddha in the power up. hour. Buddha now picking up ace queen of diamonds. Rays announced. Ooh, right into Sacco, who's got nines. The bet is eighty. Got a sub brewing here. Wow, look at all those aces out there, Vic. Yeah. Sacco doesn't know it right now, but he's in great shape with these nines. Everybody sharing cards. There's a nine in Garrett's hand. He's going to come along, too. Ooh. 
Rudy says yes. And it looks like we're going to have five players now. Four, ten in the middle. Seven, three, ten. Couple of spades. And Big John Stud. Yeah, he's the best got the best of it with the 10 6. Not a bad flop for nines. So Sacco's going to bet this out. 185 is the bet. Quick fold from Garrett. But Big John Stud does not stick around with his uh, weak 10 there. And a nice bet there from Sacco. Again, I'll say it again. If you haven't, if you weren't here earlier, he great was down comeback. to two hundred and forty-eight dollars. Yeah. And what a great comeback, and then some. Oh, hoodie off for Big John Stud. It's business now. Looks like we got 45, 50 minutes on the live stream and make a move. Three players going to the flop. Not too often you see two players holding king six. No. <laughs> Jack four eight, couple of spades. Garrett with the flush draw. He's going to try to take it down now. Yeah. <laughs> you want to call? A little bit. A little bit. I like that answer. You want to call? A little bit. Good answer. Twenty dollars straddle and play from OG John. Raise it up to 80. Under the gun. Get caught up here with our graphics real quick. Queen Jack of Clubs. Sacco's going to have a, a mystery hand here. And he does make the call. Another couple of clubs here for Rob. And he's going to raise up. Great opportunity here for Rob after uh, a table image all night with the uh, lowest V pip. I got knots like boulders on my shoulders. So. And he senses some uh, weakness What's and also trying to mix it up here, get some action going. Is it Tom Foolery? Tom Foolery. Yeah. yeah. Is that, would you call that Tom Foolery? Yeah, I think yeah. that's what he's sensing right now. Well, Sacco. the vibe, he wants to go anywhere with the mystery hand. Yeah. And he makes the call. Boy, I really want to know what Sacco's got here. I'm going to put him on uh, nines, tens. And we have a five, four, three board, couple of hearts. And they're going to go check, check. Here comes a free card queen and a queen. Does Sacco have ace queen? Rob pushing all in, putting the pressure here. After a check on the flop and a check on the turn from Sacco. If Sacco doesn't have a queen beat, this is going to be a really tough call. He's, we've seen him make tough calls though in, in the past. Well, if he had nines, 
eight. Seems to me he would have bet that flop at least. And he's not making a quick call here, so he doesn't have a queen. He doesn't have queen's beat. Nice bet here by Rob. Does he show? Oh, he shows. He does show. Came to play. He I came to Rob. play. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't been playing a lot of hands, but he's made some nice bets where he's took it down. I was going to say, he was awfully patient <laughs> to blast in with nine high. Said Hopefully. he was getting bored, and that's what happens in the power hour. Well played, Rob. I knew the six was coming on the river. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I said Rob, well played, sir. Thanks. Not really. It was bad here. Yeah. <laughs> the bear raising it up 6 3 of hearts. And now Rob gets a much better hand than the last one he had. He's got ace 10, but he is just going to make the call in position. Nemo folds a couple of hearts. Carpet, sure. everything was yours. <laughs> You're not going to have a red carpet for you, dealer. Is that right? Just play your hand. Play your game. Let me play my game. Shut up, Rudy. <laughs> play your game. Sako says shut up. Don't be, don't be with Bob. G. John in the lead. Don't come with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me. Ten of clubs changes to nothing. OG checking it back to him. With a smirk on his face. One thirty. Mustache for his beard. Imano, Imano. Right now we have a six high versus a pair of fours, and there's three sixty in the middle. And there's the five. Oh wow! The bear getting there. The bear doing what OG usually does. Going to check it, see if the bear can get some value here. 180? 150? 200 if you want to get greedy? Uh, five really doesn't change anything. Would I 120 seem so too obvious? <laughs> I think he Yeah, if he's going to call that, you might as well go for a little more. I mean, yeah. what does the five change? He's not putting you on 6-3. Wow, double the pot? Close to it? Yeah, this is where you're hoping he has two pair. And yeah. And snapped. <coughs> or a set. I highly doubt he's still playing a set there, but yeah, fold. Yeah, he was going for the gusto there. He was going for the gusto. I'm not going to make any bear references like going for the honey or coming out of hibernation or standing on the ba uh, his back legs and spreading his shoulders out. I, I'm not going to make any of those references. Leave that to somebody else. And we've got a button straddle. Six Mafia again. Go for it two times in a row. Sako waking up with Ace King. Are you pulling out of me? One fifteen is the bet. He's not talking to you, man. Rob in the cutoff. Queen ten lets it go. Rudy, the button straddler, needs ninety five to call. He's got nine seven. 
And now OG John with an ace, ace four. And here, here we go. Heads up action once again. And there's a four. There's a four. There's a four. What are you playing with? Six four of love now? That's four bucks a minute. That's a lot more than two dollars a minute. I mean, my feet don't stink. Sacco says, clean. "What are you playing with? Six four of love?" Well, pretty close. Toenails clipped. One eighty five. Yeah, and, and, the, and I don't take my socks off usually either. She usually does it over my socks. But yes, my feet are clean and my my toenails are clipped. Yes. <laughs> There's a call. 585 now in this pot. Heads up, going to the turn. Young Patrick in the box. Oh, and the king on the turn. Wow. That changes things. Does change things. Well, Sako's been running pretty good tonight. Got the good juju. 585 in the middle. Massage me. I don't even know how she did it. Like at the table, like head to toe. Like, yeah. Like some, like an older Asian like lady. She did my legs. She did my glutes. Yeah. She did like everywhere. Like I was like, I, I didn't, I didn't even know how somebody would pull that off at a poker table. I mean, yeah, she did we, it, took, we took that 90, 90 minute, I think, break, the minute event. And I said, Hey, Toby, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining us. She did it at the table with me like this, like sitting like this the whole time. Yeah, she was she just was like, I, don't even, I was like, oh, I, don't know. I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to let her massage. As long Sacco as she putting on the cool. pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Taking his time. Oh, off. usually when he, nah, sometimes no, he goes back no, to no, it, but yeah. No, yeah. Sometimes he does that, like you say, and then he pulls him back he in the box. He does a pump fake at times. Does yeah. a pump fake once in a while. Wasn't the full pump fake where he... Puts his hands on his chips and then folds, but it was pretty close to it. And here we go. We are in uh, during a break here, and there's our uh, cumulative winnings. Alan, I believe you asked for that. You got it. Sako, Big John, Stud, Nemo. Buddha, <laughs> not a sharp, did not get the sharp stick in the eye. Seven hundred eighty dollar profit with monster night so so far. Nemo, Big John, Stud, and Sacco. Garrett started out well, but he's having a tough night. Rob's climbed back to Lisa well, in the green. That's the thing is like a lot. Of, well, not that you don't know that, but a lot. Anytime of people, it's a profit, you know, it's a good night in poker. Think, oh, you're supposed. To, usually, you'll feel a lot worse before you feel better if you've got like actual deep tissue like issues going. You know, what I, mean? I think bears climbed deep, back too a little bit. I think there's like, in, all those yeah. toxins and whatever there are a lot more than you know not down twelve hundred. So he's one hand away, so possibly water, changing his outcome. Yeah. Rob, were you just a little bit over half an hour left, about 35 minutes. You know those chairs that they'll have, like a massage chair? Yeah, the like actual massage the one, the chair. Got, like, Nemo, Jax, OG John with Ace King, Garrett with Ace Jack suit. we got a big hand alert, folks. Two pair for Sako. Wow. When you're running good, you're running good. <laughs> Five players to the flop, 630 in there, and we got a bet of 175. Garrett just sprucing it up. Here's a call from Nemo. Just a call with an overpair, straight and flush draw. OG John coming in now with that price tag, yeah. I think Sacco's about to lay the hammer. There's 1,200 in there. Yes. Maybe 900, 800 to go. Could be more. I, I wouldn't mind like 800 because then if the... <laughs> Now, right now, with the bear, you know, having top pair with the flush draw off the cart, if a heart hits or a card you don't like, you still have 2,900 back. You are not, you don't have to go for it if you don't want to, but I would definitely try to get a heads up here. <coughs> Looks like 800. Oh, it's more than that. 
one of the partners won 700. Won the 700? Oh, 700. Big hand brewing. I mean, I've never done it. The bear now. Top pair, flush draw. 700 to call. This is going to be potentially a big pot. Someone to your side, though, you're probably pretty safe. Most of your weight's on the bar. It's not like you're actually standing on the person here. You're just you're hanging on the bar and then just using your feet to inside. And here's the tough situation for Nemo. Right now, if he hits a nine for two pair to be better than the seven three, that gives the bear trip nines. Thank you, Otis. Appreciate it. Welcome. Yeah, Anastasia, you always seem to have this knack of jumping back in when we got a big hand. Yeah. Just a casual 1900 in the pot. With lots of action left. All in? Yeah. All yep. In. All in here. Nice fold, Nemo. OG John, I think, was just coming along because of the price tag of 175. He's going to take his due diligence, though. be Sacco's all in if he wants to make this call. 5,500 in this pot. If he makes this call, this is going to be close to a $9,000 pot. Sacco always already thinking about whether he'll have the opportunity to run her once or twice. <coughs> and Dom, the computer has this at, at a coin toss. Zacco giving him credit for a set already. Set of nines. Oh, yeah. Seven, nine. Nine. Eight, seven, eight, 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 eight. He's, he's doing what he should. Speaking every combination out loud. Thinking yeah. about everything. It's a big pot. Bear with the power play right here with top pair and the flush draw. And wow, he makes the call. We got 8,500. This is the biggest pot of the night, folks. Yeah. Two pair versus top pair with the flush draw. Literally a coin flip. And what an interesting coin flip for $8,500. Young Patrick, good job, young man. Get that pot right. Take the time. Do it right. 
good call. Colonel, I agree. Very tough call to make. I got him. I can't fold all the time. Good call. So late, I'm going to have to call. Two face card would be good. Nine of clubs would be good. And Very good, right? <laughs> Oh, there it is. This needs a, needs a seven or three. Wow. And what a humongous pot we have. 8,500 going to the bear. Going to the bear. He's going to have 8,900 in front of him now after that $8,500 pot. What a swing for the night. My goodness. And just like that. Your whole night changes. In the matter of a couple yeah. minutes, one hand of poker. Live at the reserve, 5 5 10, no limit. Right here on YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe. <coughs> and to bear. Like Michelle says. Gary, look at that. Yeah. Volts up. Been struggling the whole night. One big hand. Now he's up 3,500. And in the main room, uh, best I could tell, it looks like 18 players left. No, 16. Can't quite. Somebody's got better eyes than I do. Blinds are at 10,000, 20,000, 10,000. Paying top six places for tonight's tournament. $1,500 for first place. You could see uh, George and Smoke still in the in the tournament out there. You can go to the reservepoker.com and you can see all of our daily scheduled tournaments as well as what's coming up this Thursday morning, day 1A of our $100,000 prize pool guarantee. Doors open up at 10 a.m. 50 to go. Sacco made a good call. I can't fold. He read it right. He read it right. Yeah. I bet it too much. You went all in. What do you mean? You went all in. Eight, five, nine, couple of diamonds. Top, or I'm sorry, not top two pair, but two pair for Sacco. Back to back hands. He flops two pair. Ten comes on the turn. That gives some outs oh, to the bear. Boy. Open ender. But he lets it go. What a swing of events. My goodness. And I forgot, to, I think I forgot to ask, we were uh, right in the beginning of the evening, we had a special guest tonight in here from Boston, and he's a writer, blogger, travels the world, literally, 28 countries he's played poker in, and he said, where's everybody watching from? So, a uh, little bit of everywhere. A little bit of everywhere, but let's do a roll call real quick. I know we still got Kiwi Colleen checking in here from New Zealand. Always a pleasure. I know we saw Pennsylvania in the house. We saw Pennsylvania and a couple of different viewers. Connecticut from Ten is in Tennessee right now. Yep, Tennessee. Anybody watching from Florida? Canada. We usually have Villanueva from the Philippines in here. Couple, three players of aces. Mentor, Ohio. I've played uh, golf there. BG, Ohio. Three players to a flop, and we have a ace, nine, ten board. And ace, jack, still in the lead. At first, when I saw those numbers, I thought someone must have hit two pair, but I was wrong. Sako looks like he's in there, too. And he flops a flush draw with a gut shot straight. Actually, Rob is the one ace. 
That really blocks Sako right there, blocking the straight draw. Sako mets a bet, but uh, Rob is going to raise this up to 450. Here comes Buddha. Is he just going to do a power play and shove here? I mean, are you he, gonna, he looked like he was going to call, and then he thought, well, wait a minute, what do I have left? Well, that's what I'm saying. You're not yeah, going to call. Maybe I may stack. as well uh, push it all in. It's either fold or shove. Oh, okay. okay. He's going to sweat it out. <coughs> Deuce of hearts. <coughs> A brick. Yeah, Colonel, it might have been Blackbrook. If you believe your ace jack is good right now, this is the best card you could have asked for if you're not going to hit a jack or an ace. <coughs> and I think Buddha knows that. And yeah, he's going to put him to the test here. Great play by Buddha. Looks like, well, looks like a thousand twenty-five. BG Ohio. 2,800 in the pot. Sokka all in. Needs a seven or a club with one card to go. Reverse rolls. Yeah. And there it is. Wow, the jack of clubs. Two wow. For Buddha, flush for Sako, and he's going to. Good lay down by Rob. A $2,800 pot, and that's much needed by Sako. Tinley Hauser says she wishes she was in Florida, so does that count? Only for you. Tinley was just in Florida. I know. We got Painesville, Ohio, Columbus, Ann Arbor. Oh, awesome. Minnesota still watching here tonight. Oh, love it. Shout out to Minnesota. Love the interaction, guys. Appreciate you. Garrett's been quiet for a while. Now ace ten of diamonds in the small blind. Going to raise it up to 85. No callers, though. Takes that down. And we're approaching about uh, 20 minutes left here on our live stream tonight. Want to thank everybody. Please know that when we say that, it's very sincere. Dom and I take a lot of pride in being part of this live stream here from the reserve. We've been doing this now for about 18 months. Always looking for ways to present a, a good show. Also to help promote our brand, which is the Reserve Poker Room here in Toledo. And absolutely, when we're doing that, everybody here on the chat, all of our viewers are a big part of that. It does mean a lot to us. Dom and I... Uh, collectively have to pinch ourselves from time to time and realize we're actually getting paid to sit here to do this. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. But it's a it's a pleasure, it's a privilege to be a part of it. Absolutely. <laughs> the bear is <laughs> giving up. Uh, <laughs> look over to Sako. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Like, really? Yeah. He doesn't seem surprised at uh, a move here from Big John Stud, but he's a little surprised at the call. Nice pot builder here, though, as we've got three players now. Roughly around 600, I believe, in there. Yeah, 615. We've ramped up the action in this final power hour. We got a four king three board. The bear now. Looking around the table, seeing what Big John Studs about to do. He's gonna see bet this with his nines. Looks like half pot, close to it. 
250? Not this time. No. The bear has been making some moves tonight, and he decides this is not one of those times to do it. Sometimes you have nothing at all to continue with. I don't mean still And not even a backdoor. No, I had. I had no backdoor for a runner. Not me. No, no, we're on a really club. Two small cars. Jeff Wilkie, always a pleasure. And we will see you this weekend. I know you like these multi-day tournaments. And if you can bag at least once and get into day two, I know you're going to love the $500 bounty every time you take somebody out this Sunday. My guess is Dom will start live streaming uh, sometime in the afternoon, three or four in the afternoon, unless we start out right away with the feature table for uh, day two. Okay, okay, but, of course, okay. if... Uh, you subscribe and hit the bell. You'll go to get a notification when we're coming on. Rudy now ace queen in the big blind raises it up now to 155. No callers and takes that pot down. Yeah, uh, Tommy, this uh, this Tuesday night filled up quickly. Uh, I've got a every reason to believe that next Tuesday is going to fill up if it hasn't filled up already as this uh, action continues to grow it's becoming more and more popular and there were at least three or four players that had called as late as uh, last the end of last week trying to get in but it was already filled up if you want to be on the live stream, as I mentioned before, it's as simple as picking up the phone. Give us a call. Big John Studd had nines, and now he's got eights. Raised to 60 from Sacco, and Big John Studd's going to make the call. There is an eight being folded by, uh, nope, being called. Eight, six of spades. And Nemo's got an eight. So there won't be any more eights coming here towards Big John Studd. <laughs> OG John. Uh, nice little builder here. 305 in the middle. Five yeah. players. <laughs> King right in the window. Fought with an ace and a 10. Wow. Action flop, folks. Top two for Sacco. OG John with top pair with the gut shot to Broadway. 305 in the middle. This one could easily get over 1,200. Especially with the action that we've seen. In the last 45 minutes. Here comes Sako, 175, coming out firing. Five in the middle. And there's a the bet. Five seventy five. Especially in the business you're in, you need to. You should consolidate and at least run out a couple of those units. Oh, okay. So they're not completely vacant. And he makes the call. Makes the call. Here's a chance for Sacco now over the course of a couple hands to make up for that big loss. To the bear. And has he been on a roller coaster of what tonight? One heck of a roller coaster. Oh! oh full house. Wow, full house. OG first to act. 1800 in the middle. One of my buddies growing up, he was older than me, but that was like his dad was so good at doing those. He used to literally go around and teach 
like seminars showing people how you could build them like in two months less time than everybody else was building them. Like that's how he made his hold of it. He's like, I'm gonna show you how to build these way faster and cheaper than these other guys can do it. Like by letting get a lot of money to doing that. There's a lot of money in those storage facilities. No overhead once they're built, right? Yeah, so. We throw it out once in a while we have an option. There's a check from OG John. Sacco trying to figure out with an $1,800 pot, what is the right bet? He definitely wants to be paid off here in some shape or form. $1,350 is the bet. And does OG John think he's calling for a tie here? And he makes the call, and Sacco now picks up a profit here of 2300 which is about what he lost in that big hand with yeah, the it's bear. It's unbelievable. 4900 now? Tyler, can we get uh, what a swing? Yeah, can we get the chip stacks here from the table? There's been a lot of movement lately. A lot of movement. Awesome, thank you, sir. Yeah, what a big swing of chips. We're gonna get that shortly, Tyler. Just let me know in the ear, probably after the sand sometime. Wow. Sako has literally been up and down, up and down the whole night. I can only imagine what's going on through his mind. It's got to be exhausting. I mean, recently, the only thing I can relate it to is me sitting here Saturday night and Tyler whispering into my ear that uh, the Bears had traded fields. I got home that night. I was exhausted. I'd been through a, uh, an emotional roller coaster like you can't believe. Oh, I can believe it, buddy. I saw your initial reaction. And then poor Rose. She thought something was really wrong. <laughs> well, in your mind, it was. <laughs> it's funny now. Here deuce, we go. Deuce, ace, eight. A couple of clubs. And look at OG John flopping the flush draw. And we're getting some hands to close out this show. Buddha with top pair. Buddha's going to do a quick call of 125. Yeah, it was a snap call. Rudy with a gut shot. Yeah, he's thinking if I hit, maybe I'll get paid off. Yeah, and he's coming along. Eight pairs the board. Oh, boy. That's an OG card if you wanted to keep this up. Try to steal this. He bets the pot. Three fifty is the bet. There's Rudy behind Buddha too. I think this would be a lot easier decision for Buddha if he didn't have a player behind him. Yeah, he lets it go. And yeah, nice play by OG. It worked. Turns three of a kind with his flush draw. Life is good after uh, losing a big hand there to Sacco. Makes me think that uh, they're going to continue to play on here after we're done broadcasting. Isn't it amazing, though, when you have three of a kind like that with two players in the hand and there's still, you know, an ace screws you, a five screws you. You're in such strong shape with the flush draw, but you just never know. That's why I don't mind that bet from yeah. OG John. He took down a nice sized pot, about 500 in there. Yeah, let's if you're going to get a call, you're going to get a call. But <laughs> do it the right way, and if anything, build up the pot. Chris in the house. Chris, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Yeah, Hope you're doing well. Chris D. Here, There's a power hour play from Rudy. Three, four hearts in the cutoff. Raises it up to 140. Buddha 
with a power hour call. Queen nine of diamonds. Why not? Let's go hundred dollars straddle. Uh, there's a hundred dollars. Yeah, there's a little Oreo hiding under there for you. Little Oreo. I'm out. Oops. Let's go hundred dollars straddle. All right, so here we go. Heads up. Three fifteen in the middle. Two players, very much alive. Nine right in the window. Oh. Four with the queen, and then a four. Rudy bottom pair, top two for Buddha. $300 bet here from Rudy. Also, and the response is an all in from Buddha. They're getting put to the test, Vicar, late. He does show the queen nine, two pair. And I think we're coming up to the end of our evening here tonight. This has been a lot of great action and a lot of great interaction with our chat board. We're doing the last round of the gun now. I don't want any more cards. I can't bet enough there. I thought, well, maybe I should bet 600. No, he's going to call. Well, maybe I should bet 1,000. And then I thought, shit, I only got 1500 <laughs> so Yeah, Colonel, we'll see you Thursday. Yeah, Looking forward to it, buddy. Standing. Always a pleasure when you're in the house. <laughs> it's not on me. <laughs> Rudy now, ace, nine of diamonds. It's only by me if it's on me. I had a big hand. He changed. He changed. He changed. He can change. Action change. Action change. Action change. Yeah, I got to look at it. 125 the call going in. Buddha now picking up a pair. Not just any pair. Pocket eights. Maybe he'll get some juju from the bear with Queen Jack. Five players now. 6:30 in the middle. I'm loving this action the last 40 minutes, especially Vic. Yeah. Every pot going to a flop is just juicy. Seven. Deuce five, top pair for Garrett, over pair for Buddha. <coughs> Gut shot for OG John with two overs. Garrett bets it out, 225. If I make it so your hand is tough to call with, that's a pretty good shot. Even with two very good Well, yeah, but I either have that or a set, right? Or like yeah. if, if you call and I don't well, have a flush draw here. Like Interesting here with Buddha. A couple more. Rudy called. OG John called. It's almost in shoving range for him. No, you made a good read. He's got 2K in front of him, and there's 1,300 in the pot. And right now, if you think your eights are good, the proper play definitely is to shove and try to shut it down right now, with, especially with this many players. You don't just want to call, and then no. a turn card, a scare card comes out there, and you just fold unless it's not an eight. Yeah. Because you have so many players playing, you're going to think one of them hit. Let's it go. Oh, wow. Yeah, he does not. You can tell on his And he's face. not happy with himself right no, away. He is not happy with that. that. too often from Buddha, but deep down, I think he knows he possibly could have had one. 
Get away from him. Garrett now with a flush draw. Top pair at this point with the eights being folded by Buddha. So he bets 500. Back over to Rudy. And now OG John. That's not the uh, turn card. Oh, I take that back. And He's he, making the call. He's got spades two to go along with his top pair now. And there's a six and OG John. Rivers the straight as. Wow. And there it is, 1,500. No, it's right, Garrett. Garrett is getting the right read here, says this is not the card I wanted to see. And if that's the voice that you hear, trust you, it. Yeah, and you might not even be putting them on 9-8. You could just have a 4. Buddha now. Happy he got out of that one. I think he might have taken it down, though, if he would have shoved. Yeah. I don't know if OG would have called everything on just a straight draw. We've seen him do it, though. But, yeah, OG, though, profiting 1,500, 2,900 in that pot. Just another roller coaster of a night live at the reserve on Tuesday. 5-5-10, five, five, no limit. Uh, no. And maybe end it with a V-pip as well, please. And there's the, yeah, the bear up 3,100. Big John Stud, 2K, Sacco. What a comeback by Sacco up 1,900. Can't say enough about that. Yeah. He's been as low as 200 and like 70 the night. 248. I'm been throwing that number out there because that's okay. the best I recall. Fair enough. Ice cream socials start about 5 a.m. John knows about ice cream I told these guys, John, I said we could have ice cream so And then uh, V-Pip, if you get a chance. Plain chocolate. Real specific. Check. How much went all in on the flop there, John? They don't we got plain three chocolate. players. They take plain strawberry. I believe going to the flop here. That's it. Seriously. <laughs> on a 3-3-7 three, three, board. Check. Well, the first flop that we <laughs> haven't seen really, you know, a lot of action. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, yeah, and that just pure aggression is going to take this down. Yeah. And there is Rudy stepping into that role, comfortably stepping into that role with uh, the aggressive bet. Not much to hang on, but uh, give it a try. And uh, this is uh, the last hand of the night. They're going to go to a bomb pot. And there is the V-Pip for the night. Nemo, Rob, and John Studd on the bottom. OG, John, Rudy, and Sacco up top. The rest of the rest of the field, yeah. 19. Field all the way in between. Yep, a little bit of everything yep. there. But, yeah, guys, uh, it was a great show tonight. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. Also, just a reminder, since we're not going to be on this Thursday and Saturday, we have our 100K guaranteed prize pool coming up. Not only is it 100K guaranteed in the prize pool, but on day two, every single knockout is worth $500. Day one's, Vic, uh, remind me, 11 a.m. and 11 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yep. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, doors open up at 10 a.m. Yep. each day. And uh, we've at, we've been asked this question, when should I arrive? As early as you can. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no calling on which flight will be completely full. We'll have alternates and which ones won't. Um, I'm expecting a full house a majority of those days, every tournament that we're getting, we're getting bigger and bigger, and it's an exciting time here. So looking forward to be on the live stream live at the Reserve. Also, remember, if you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, that alert area, especially with a week like this week where we're going to be tournament live streaming, but nothing set in stone on the time because it is a supply and demand. A lot of times we have all hands on deck, especially if we're busier than planned, and then as soon as we get enough staff free, we go on air as soon as possible. So we're looking forward to calling some great tournament action. Thanks again tonight. Vic, anything else? No. Thanks so much. Another great Tuesday yes, night, sir. and we can't do it without you. We thank you very much for joining us tonight, and as always, please be safe. Take care, everybody.